Okay, I think it looks good now. Welcome back, everybody. We're gonna go ahead and continue the game. I wanted to head on to the ship now, because welcome to the SSN, excuse me. Do you have a ticket? Yes, I do. There's plenty of items and trainers to take out here. If you saw the previous gym battles, you'll know that um, this game is actually kind of hard. Even Brock was giving me a bit of a bad time. And because this is Fire Red and Leaf Green, there should be a restroom here, right? Yeah, this one. Take a short rest. This isn't in red and blue. This little extra house right here. A lot of people assume it is, and they ask why I don't go there when I'm playing Gen 1, but it's it, that room is not there. And here's the guy. The Growlithe. I am but a solitary traveler. My sole companions and friends are Pokemon I caught. Let's do it. Yes, it's working just fine. Redeem for bear. I just began, and you already want the teddy? Well, if I have to hit the button, I guess I have to. I have succumbed to chat's peer pressure yet again. Hang on, let's just use Scratch. I was kind of just battling some wild Pokemon before we uh, got into it. Also, you may not notice, but I made a little adjustment to the VTuber software. People were saying sometimes when I talk for a long bit, the mouth just stays open, so I adjusted the threshold of that. So now the mouth should be a little bit more fluid. It looks it looks good. This is like, what, week three of using this? So I'm still figuring this stuff out. I didn't use this all weekend, though, did I? Hold up, let me adjust the volume. Speaking of which, there we go. Growlithe, send it out. Chat pays for a teddy. They get their teddies. I played this a handful of days ago. It was a lot of fun. YouTube's really enjoying it, too. Intimidate is actually being a bit of a butt here. Let's speed this up by going the Nido King. There should be some water trainers on board. Oh, well, that sucks. You know what? Fine. I'm no longer affected by Intimidate, so we'll just hit him. Chat redeems for the bear, heck yeah. I didn't use this all weekend, and now I'm back to a little anime character. That's right. Oh, you're getting on my nerves. Fine then. There we go. Crit. Eddie's excited to watch the stream too. Okay. Fire and Leaf Green does have a great OST, yeah. Let's get fighting this guy now. How you insolent pup, how dare you barge in. I love how this guy is programmed to be in your range as soon as you walk through the door. Gentleman Arthur. I love how they got custom Pokeballs, you notice that? The sound font for Gen 3 is nostalgic, I know. Let's Go has a great soundtrack as well. Let's see, 270. Yes, yeah, send it out, send it out. I'll let Charmeleon get to, like, level 25, I think. Redeem for no bear? Oh, why would you do that? Why would you do that, cringe? Can you believe that? Chat just took the teddy away. Poison point is activated. Uh-oh. Someone just gifted five subs. Thank you so much there, Moonspine. I appreciate that. Everybody's been enjoying this little adventure so far. 265. You rude child, you have no sense of courtesy. Uh-oh. The Redeem Wars have started. You look tired, want a short rest? Oop. I'm glad to see that everyone's looking refreshed and chipper. I love how there's even a PC set up in here. We love the teddies on this stream. Too bad we can't catch a teddy in this game. Probably not till Sevi. Yeah, we don't fight these ones here. I've been enjoying this so far. It's nice to be able to kind of use my ideal Pokemon Yellow team, but also have, like, Fire Red Leaf Green mechanics and, you know, visuals, and actually have, like, challenging teams to fight. Most of the trainers are just kind of grunts, though. We can take them out. Double kick, no problem. Ember. Ember. Set it on fire. I got the TM for Dig. I wonder if I should just put that on um, Nido King or something. I suppose I could use that for Surge. Hang on, why don't I do that? Did I already do that? What does Nido King have? 
Thrash, Peck. I think at this point we do not need Peck anymore. So let's just replace it with that. Redeem for Jorts. Unfortunately, there is no version of me that wears Jorts at the moment. And I don't have any current plans to pay for that. What a shame. Oh, it's power is 60. Dang. I'm used to, like, the recent mods and hacks I've been playing. Blaze And Blaze Black digs base power is 100, like it is in Gen 1. Pikachu can learn it. It's not that great of a move, so we won't need it later. Eh, I'll get rid of Peck. Maybe I could use Focus Energy. What if you pay for the Jorts model? Um, well, that'd be pretty costly. We will have other outfits in the future. I collected these Pokemon from around the world. Speaking of which, we're gonna play Mario Party 2 this week, right? One of the things we've been talking about doing, um, I was going to see if I could, like, because I'm gonna play Pirate Land, right? What if I put a little pirate hat on my, on my model? That would be wholesome. I don't think I'd really have to commission it. I could probably just draw it myself. Put a little pirate hat and eye patch on me. No, I paid for the blinking animation. I'm gonna use all two of them. I'll just have a pirate hat. Descend in Pikachu. Denny on the shoulder. That's extra money. Okay, quick attack. Yeah, get beamed. Charmeleon's reached that. Need Arena now. I'll just let Nido King do this, because I'm at minus accuracy. You getting scam calls? Yeah, this is why I always stream with my phone on mute now, because I always get a scam call. Who knew being an anime character would cost money? I know, it's so expensive. I'm trying to afford that jump to 3D as well. Kick. Kick. <laughs> I get so many scam calls. They're like the only phone calls I get anymore. Oh no, I went around the world for these? Wow. Way to diss your Pokemon, lady. You hurt my poor Pokemon. I demand you heal them. You go heal them. Brick break. Um, that could be good for Nido King as well. Not like I'm using a fighting type. 3D, 3D doesn't mean it'll be animated. That's right. Yeah, for that animation. See, right now, all I got is I blink and my mouth moves. And the teddy also blinks as well. Because he's excited. Okay, that was you. I never keep track of which of these I actually did. Shh, I'm a global police agent. Thanks for telling me. I'll be sure to tell everyone. wonder if the items in the trash changed. Catch a berry. Cherry berry. Gesto berry. Check out the chefs. This is the only place in the game that uses, like, the chef models, right? Hmm. Let's go here. Let's go also has a secret uh, police officer, right? My buddy Machoke is super strong. Remember when you walk into the rocket hideout? There's, like, that li li lady that shows up that's like, I'm a beautiful spy. Would you like Team Rocket clothes? And then she's just gone forever. Come on! Sailor Pride is at stake. Oh, I forgot to put Pikachu up front. That's okay. He's got Horsey. Only level 19? What's your game plan? What's your game plan? Let's do it. Smoke screen is annoying. I still only got Thundershock. I feel like Thunderbolt should be, like, somewhere in the 20s. I know it comes absurdly late in Gen 3 normally, doesn't it? Isn't there another chef in Celadon? I think so, yeah. There's a lot of sprites they don't really make full use of. The President of Sylph has a unique sprite. In yellow version, they use it as Blaine Sprite as well, but they don't red and blue. Are there any chefs in Hoenn? I want to say that there are, but I can't tell off the top of my head. Nice. Not nice. That's pretty mean. That's pretty cringe, not gonna lie. Okay, we got him. Special defense effort values for me. 
Do you think Surge is gonna be rough? I can, I mean, I got a uh, ground type with a stab ground move, but who knows what he's got, right? For all we know, he, his Raichu could have Surf like the Stadium one does. Let's let Pikachu get some levels. Ideally, I want to have Venusaur before I fight the gym. Because Venusaur is the earliest Kanto Evo to get. You know what they say about sailors and battling. No, I don't. Chef class is in Oraz, but it's in Battle Maison. Okay. Pikachu always learned Thunderbolt pretty early until Oraz when they boosted it from 26 to uh, 42. Dang. Quite a jump right there, huh? Wouldn't want the Pokemon having access to an electric move. Hello. It's the guy who uh, wants to battle the feisty kids like me. And his name is Dylan. Right, I always forget about that. Oh, let's Thundershock him. Take out the seahorse. I think Pikachu gets Thunder pretty late, but Thunder is not... I mean, we all know how Thunder is. 70% accuracy, which means it misses 99% of the time. We're all relatively used to that, aren't we? 24. So I should get Thunderbolt at level 26? Don't need that for Surge. I don't need Pikachu at all for Surge, I would say. Let's do this. I want to assume Horsey gives special attack EVs. Okay, not bad. Found one Ether. Perfect. Okay, let's go up here. What do you got for me? Even us sailors have Pokemon too. I know, I found that out. Thunder on Kyogre and T-Bolt on everything else. Oh, absolutely. Let's do this. Learns Thunder at 41. Normally. Remember, always remember, though, it's a hack. Who knows if anything's been changed or adjusted. Yellow version made some very weird changes to Pokemon movesets that most of them are completely unknown. The most random one I'm aware of is in red and blue, Mewtwo can learn the Payday TM, but in yellow version, they took that away. That's the only change they made to Mewtwo in yellow version. He can't learn Payday, and I have no idea why. Maybe they thought it would be broken to let the most powerful Pokemon learn the money move? It, it, it's really, it's such a really strange decision. Yeah. Like, if you look up the Cerebi page for Gen 1 Mewtwo, you'll check the pay- you'll see the Payday ATM, and it'll say yellow only, and it's like, why? What a very bizarre change. I don't think any other Pokémon had their TM compatibility adjusted, if I'm not mistaken. Not that I've seen. Alright, I'll have to run back and heal. Got rest. Why not just teach rest? <laughs> oh, we don't want to waste. Okay, there's these guys. You know what? I don't feel like walking back. I'm just gonna use one of those berries I got. I got seven Petra berries. Why not? Hang on. Perhaps I should give the teddy bear a little rest. Hang on, chat. Let's put the let's put the teddy down for a controller. Why not? Let's go to gamer mode. I mean, the thing is, lots of Pokemon in Gen One. All your Pokemon are from the sea. Lots of Pokemon in Gen 1 can learn Payday because it's a TM in, the, in Gen 1. What's weird is that Mewtwo is the only one who lost the ability mid-generation to, to learn it, which is so weird. Okay, there's that. Kill. 427. Star Ryu, come on. All I gotta do is just spam Thundershock, which is pretty piss poor weak, right? Hang on, what is it again? Power is 40. Damn. That is pretty dang weak. You can also catch Farfetch in yellow version, right? I'm pretty sure, like, Farfetch was trade only until then. Everyone can learn Payday in Gen 1 for some reason. Because it's a TM. Shelder, send it out. Shelder's got that defense, but Shelder does not have that special defense. This one looks a little more purple than normal. Probably that stadium palette uh, option. 
Darn, I let that one get away. Matey, you're walking the plank if you lose. Sailor Phillips sent out my shop. The shop looks normal, maybe a little bit brighter. I'm gonna go for the mega kick. Yeah, if I die, I die, it's fine. We have to go back to um, the, the heal room anyway, it doesn't matter. If your Pokemon loses the battle, they die. No, and it's not a Nuzlocke, we don't gotta worry about that. Okay, you know what, let Ivysaur do it. Nido King will get the chance to get XP in the the gym. People die when they're killed. Um, source? Are you telling false information in my chat? When we're out at sea, tentacle sometimes drift by. Sometimes. That's a pretty strong word to use for tentacle. Oh, nice hyper potion. Okay. This one. Take a short rest, why don't you? And we've done every room down here. We just have the two hallways down this way now. Fight the trainers out on the deck. I feel ill. Ahoy there, are you seasick? Heck no. Welcome, friend. But shop is looking a little bit red there. Thunder zap that little friend. You know what I like? How in, in Pokemon Let's Go, there's an entire unique battle area, like battle background, when you battled like the three trainers that are outside the deck on the SSN. It's so wild to me. Oh, that hit like hell. That entirely unique, like, location for the battle animations, and it's only for just two, like, Goombas that are hanging out by the deck. Yeah, I'll stay in, and I'll switch. Let's do that. I'll let Ivysaur go in. Sailor's got dive balls. Can't poison me. Wait, Acid can't poison. It lowers defense instead as a secondary effect. Critical hit. I was just careless. Hmm. Okay, Pikachu is Pikachu. Let's just let Ivysaur up front for now. There's still trainers to the side. Take out as well. Hey, matey. Let's do a little jig here. To the right of Vermilion City, I mean. Actually, you know, technically I could ignore Surge. I only need to beat him for Fly. But still, it's probably better if I go fight him. You know what I could also do? I kind of want to see what the in-game trade is when I go past uh, Diglett's Cave. And I might want to get... I actually might want to get Flash because they could have changed the layout to Rock Tunnel. It would be very stupid of me to try and, like, feel my way out in case there's any changes. Like, I'd probably just, like, get lost if they change, like, even one wall. That one's a little more pink. Look at it. Yay. We're gaming. It's intense gaming right now. Okay, a little bit right there. You're impressive. Heck yeah, I am. Is that, is that it? Yeah, only two trainers out here. Party's over. Ship will be departing soon. Okay. There's still the trainers around here. I've journeyed far and wide. I've never seen a Pokemon like this. Yes, as a Snorlax. Okay, here we go. Check out what I fished up. Pardon me. Oh, hold back a sneeze there. I thought I was about to just like lose it. All right, Razor Leaf the Goldeen. I almost never use Flash and Rock Tunnel, but I might as well in a hack. I have the whole thing kind of memorized, and it's really easy to feel out in Gen One because you can see the walls. In Gen 3, you have just a little, um, a little, like, light around you. Let me get a drink, you right. Pretend that my little character just took a drink. Pretend that animation happened. Pretend I'm rich and can afford that. 
Fun fact chat. The game is called Reach is called Recharged Yellow. This is a subtle nod that I'm trying to recharge my wallet by playing it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, I fight you. Competing against the youth keeps me useful. Youthful. What are you, like Shang Sun? Trying to take my soul if you beat me? Heck no. Ooh, check out the Pikachu. Gamer time. Okay, T-Wave, whatever. We're gonna run back to the heal station after this. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this isn't good. Please stop. He's hitting me with slam. Now that's disrespectful. Oh, we're gonna... It's gonna be one of these battles. Thank goodness. That was absurd. I can't believe that happened. Oh, get the item. Stardust. Okay, well, this is Pokemon. I can't play Stardust Dragon. If, we, if I play Mortal Kombat, I need to shield the bear from the violence. Yes, I should. The Mario Party CPU games have been doing well, so I hope a Mortal Kombat CPU tournament would be funny as hell. Just gotta make sure we get a safe Mugen set up and vetted. Okay, two of these down. Ah, yes, I've seen Pokemon ferrying people across water. No battles in these guys. Here they are. I don't believe I saw you at the party. Um, I think maybe I could have double battled these guys, but who knows now. Alright, let's take her out. The rival battle's probably gonna be rough. Let's be real. Okay. Pikachu, send it out. Come on. Come on. That Pikachu's got that little warm filter on it. It's almost like a shiny. Okay. Take it easy. Hi, Ike. How you doing? Let's fight you. Which do you find more worthy? A strong or rare Pokemon? Well, Teddy Ursa is strong and rare, so clearly it's the best. Well, this isn't a good matchup. I guess we'll just let Nidoking go to town here. Teddy needs to wave a little flag that says finish him when it's time. Oh, do you think Teddy would endorse such violence? I don't think so. Dug a little hole. And then Teddy, Teddy dabs as they die. <laughs> oh, chat. We, we can't let the bear see such unwholesome activities. That would not be good. What Pokeball is happening there? I don't recognize it. Hey chat, we have like two different Pokeballs for water types. Why don't- why aren't there any Pokeballs for other types? I must salute you. I mean, Netballs for water and bug. But um... Wouldn't it be cool if there was like a fireball and there was like a flame pattern on it? That'd be so cool. Okay, no battles on these guys. Right, and these not, they're not battles either. There's also a Lure Ball. Oh, that's right, there's three Pokeballs for water types. Dusk Ball isn't for dark types, though. It's for, it's for dark locations. Okay. Do that. Chad, if you were to invent a Pokeball, what would you do? What, what, would, it, what would it look like? Hmm. I'm not sure what I would do. Moonball's already been invented. Can't make it for Teddy. Doesn't even work right in Gen 2 anyway. Well, the rival's probably going to kick my ass, but I'm gonna try anyway. Dawn Ball. Opposite of Dusk Ball, but for the Sunstone. Wait. What, what do you mean, opposite of Moonball? Uh. Jack, did you hear that? What was that little horn? Was that the ship's horn or a glitch? I've never seen the music do that before here. 
Does it do that after a certain amount of loops? Teleball for psychic types. Teleball for Abra. Yeah, that's what Quick Ball's for. Bonjour, Red. I imagine seeing you here. Red, were you really invited? How's your Pokedex coming? I caught 40 kinds, pal. No, you didn't, you little cheater. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas and look for them. Is it part of the track? I don't remember. Yeah, he led with Pidgeotto. Of course he did. He's gonna go for sand attack strats, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if I can hit him with this and send in Pikachu. It's part of the game. It's like cries for Pokemon routes. Has anyone ever had the random uh, sound glitch happen in Fire Red and Leaf Green? It has happened to me twice in my life. It happened once when I was a kid, and it happened on recording during the Six Miracle Fire Red Leaf Green challenge. Do you guys remember? If you use a move like Thunderbolt and Ice Beam, right? You know how like the game has that little rumble sound effect for the bass? There's a chance that that sound effect, extremely rarely, will keep playing even after the battle ends, and you'll just keep hearing that rumble go endlessly until the game crashes, and... It literally happened to me when I was playing Smeargle Fire Red, and I'm like, oh my god. Because I was, I think, uh, uh, either that same episode, I was talking about when it happened to me as a kid, and I was like, what? Wild. I don't know, the, remember the cause of it, but I know it's documented somewhere. Okay. Come on, the le uh, Leech Seed will finish him off. A quick attack, hurt. Okay. I think it can cause the game to crash. I don't remember if it happened to me. I remember as a kid when it happened, I saved the game and turned it off and it worked like normal. Um, Eevee's coming out. Eevee is gonna go for Dig, so I think what I should do is Leech Seed it with Ivysaur. How do we redeem to put Teddy back? Uh, alright, I'll put the Teddy back. Are you happy? Look, we got a little teddy bear. He's excited to watch the stream, just like all of you. Don't you wish you could just reach out and give the bear a head pat? There you go. There's a redeem for Teddy. Unofficial redeem. Well, now. Whatever shall we do, chat? However shall we counter the double team Eevee? Okay. Stretch? Don't mind if I do. Oh. Stretching is good. Just pretend that I'm... Act uh, pretend that my anime character is doing it, too. I'm gonna just try Sleep Powder it. This is working. Consume the Eevee. The Eevee knows Dig to counter Pikachu, so it's not safe to use Pikachu or Nidoking. Or, oh wait, no, I can't use Charmeleon either. Ivysaur is the only one that can really fight this thing. Damn. Thank goodness I got the Leech Seed when I did. Okay. Oh, Eevee is sleeping. Ooh. Remember when I got that crit against Misty last time? That was wild. Oh, the Oddish, huh? The shiny Oddish he got. Look at that little friend. Planning some evil is what he's doing. Oh, got the Stun Spore. Hmm. He clearly hacked that Oddish. No, he just got himself a shiny. He's just lucky. It's got Giga Drain and Sludge Bomb, though, don't it? Hmm. At least you're raising your Pokemon. Yeah, whatever, you tool. Get out of here. I heard there was a Cutmaster on board, but he was just a seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Yup, it'll be handy. You should go see him, too. Cool. Oh, I feel hideous. Erp, seasick. Red rub the captain's back. Rub rub. Rub rub. Whew, that was terrible. I hit the button. You want to see my hidden cut technique? I could show you my prize cut if I wasn't so ill. I know, you can have this hidden machine. Each cut to your Pokemon and you can see it cut anytime. Now, I think I can use this without actually teaching. 
Using cut, you can chop down small trees. Why not try it? trees around Vermilion? All right, let's leave. He feels hideous. I don't feel hideous. Look at me. Chat, I'm freaking adorable. Now let's get out of here. May as well just heal here first since we're going to the right. Let me take a nap and hope the ship doesn't leave. Yeah, let's go. Whenever I see the interior of the SSN, I can't help but think of, um, like, Pokemon Dawn, where, um, Drake has to go on the freaking ship with all the zombies. There was also a ship in that, in Pokemon Nightmare Prophecy. Too bad that game never got finished. Nightmare Invasion is one of my favorite playthroughs. Such a shame to just see that, like, the game was just, like, ditched. But you could just play the first couple hours. Okay. If there was just a full Pokemon uh, hack where it's, like, a zombie apocalypse horror game, I'd play it. As long as it's not cringe like Snake would. Okay. We hope to see you again. Wait, I healed and I went to the center anyway? What's wrong with me? You know what? Let's Let's make the most of it. I'm gonna go up here. Yeah, let's fight these two. Okay, we'll play this once. Time is going in real, not real time. It's kind of like if you remember, um, what was it? Infinite Fusion. Time just kind of goes on its own. Well, that sucks. Charmeleon it is. Nightmare Invasion is a certified horror classic. I was looking at that in the playlist, and it's got, like, uh, the, the long playthrough I did the other year. Got, like, over 100k views. That's so nice. For, like, a five-hour VOD. All right, then. This gloom's annoying. Come on. I would definitely play Infinite Fusion again. There's so there's already so many more sprites for it, and there's a randomizer mode built in. Okay. You know what? Nido King it is. My whole team's getting hit in status. I might not even bother with the second guy. I'll just leave. Friend Maul. Charmeleon's looking extra crimson. Yeah, hey, gotcha. 25 for you. Pidgeotto. And I guess we'll use Pikachu. This guy's got more variety than I thought. Pidgeotto's looking a little red. Oh, I think I'm about to get Thunderbolt. I can take him out. Oh, oh right, he quick attacked last turn. What am I thinking? Please. Wow, that's a bad level up. There we go. Um, I guess I'll just get rid of Shock. Let me see. I wonder if this Pikachu can get Iron Tail. I wonder if that would be good for it to get the coverage. Things just didn't work. Yeah, I'll ignore that guy because two of my mons got status moves. Oops. When you, oh, wait. A reason I want to beat Surge quickly is so I can get the Squirtle. That's going to be my water type. Okay. Didn't Pika have a bad attack nature? Um, did it? I mean, yeah. But I want to use it for special moves, but still. No, it's defense down, speed up. Now let's go to the stuff over here. Hmm. I'm kind of curious. Let's let's go see. Let's go get Flash and see what the trade is. I can use Ivysaur to farm off the uh, Diglets, I guess. No encounters. Here he comes. Close to a level. I might not hit uh, Venusaur in time before I want to go fight Surge, but eh. 
Venusaur would be good because it can resist electric moves. And if, if, his, if his Raichu has Surf, which is a real possibility, the Pokemon Stadium Surge has freaking Surf on his Raichu, so... Wouldn't shock me if this one does. Actually, come to think of it, doesn't that mean I can teach my Raichu Surf? Would they allow that? I wonder. So if I could run Surf on Raichu and Blastoise, that would be decent coverage. Hello, Neptune. How you doing? 28. Nice. Okay. Ah. I should be able to evolve this Pikachu. I'm pretty sure I can. The screenshots I remember seeing showed Raichu following. One ninety-six. This Pikachu is not buffed like the Let's Go Pikachu. The yellow version Pikachu isn't buffed either, but it's Pokemon. You can beat the game with literally anything. You couldn't evolve Pikachu because Ash couldn't evolve his Pikachu. That's uber cringe. Suddenly, all the encounters here. Holy crap. This is Red's Pikachu, not Ash's. Exactly. You waste my time! Oh, of course it's gonna rain a trap. In Pokemon Yellow, Surge's only Pokemon is just Raichu, actually. But, um... I can't imagine... I mean, Let's Go had more than just Raichu, so I imagine this would be based on his Let's Go team. But also buffed because it's challenge mode, right? Fainted Pokemon has no energy left to battle. I'm looking for Abra. Trade it for Mr. Mime. Damn, it's still a ripoff. Okay, I don't need to actually teach the move. As long as I have a Pokemon that can learn it, I can use HMs. Thank goodness. Once Pokemon learns Splash, you can get through a rock tunnel. Remember me, I'm one of Oak's aides. If your Pokedex has complete data on 10 species... Oh, give me a break, dude. <sighs> give me a break. You know what? You know what? I'll, I'll show you 10 species. I'll show you 10 species, you jerk. Here, let's go give him his goddamn 10 species. Put it to sleep and just throw a great ball at it. That'll do. I don't want to make a second trip through the cave. Sleepy bird. How much do I got? I got one great ball. I'll just use it. Probably should carry some extra Pokeballs in case I run into a shiny. Oh, by the way, I guess I forgot to mention. Um, The creator of this hack also noticed I played it and they tweeted about it. That was really nice and wholesome. There we go. Common sight in forests and woods, it flaps its wings at ground level to kick up blinding sand. Okay, we got it. Excellent. I wonder if they were, like, aware of, like, of me through my softlock videos, and then they clicked on the video, and then they were jump-scared by the fact that this is the one I'm using the PNG tuber for. <laughs> okay, we got HM5. I guess I'll check the Pidgey I, if it's any good, but I'm not going to use it. Let's see, mild nature. Yeah, special attack Pidgey. Uh, you're you're about three generations too early for that one. It only has tackle. Not even gust. Wow. I thought it had to start with gust. I love that little comfy house just over there. Um, I highly doubt there's anything different, but I'll go get the old amber. I don't think I want to use Aerodactyl in this run. I'm already going to run Charizard as my flying type. But maybe there's something else here? Doubtful. Three gens and a mega form too early. I need to share a secret with someone. I think this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be a shattering scientific breakthrough if a Pokemon could be resurrected from it. My colleagues just ignore what I have to say, so I have a favor to ask. I want you to get this examined at the lab somewhere. And then we'll never tell them when we do it. Shh, get the old Amber checked. 
Can't sneak in the back way. Nice try, kid, but no. Whatever. Amber contains genetic matter of ancient Pokemon. There's a lab somewhere. We have two fossils of rare prehistoric Pokemon. Secrets of space, the mysteries of Earth, which are so many things about which we know so little. But that should spur us to study harder, not toss in the towel. Only thing you should toss. Should I teach Seismic Toss to a Pokemon? Jordi? I kind of forgot this guy was here. Or is he? Is he an Emerald one? I don't think I really need this, to be honest. Hmm. I already have Brick Break, but this is... I could teach it to Pikachu, to be honest. <laughs> um... No, I don't think I need it. Is that so? It, maybe, like, late later game I'd come back for that, but I don't really need that, no. Those berries just popped in. I guess I should grab them. I wonder if Pome Glitch works in this. Yeah, Creator's working on something called Recharged Emerald as well. I'd give that a try. Let's see... Take the Hondu Berry. Well, do I have any repels? Because I'd want to use at least one around along the way. I don't think Diglett is like... Diglett's Cave has more than one encounter. Just, just Diglett and Doug Trio, I guess. There's never just been like a super rare Pokemon hidden in here. Yeah, let's go. Almost out. Almost out. Alright, it's off. Young Trio is high for the level, but it doesn't take a lot of effort to evolve Diglett anyway. It's stupid good. If you're really struggling as a kid, just catching Diglett or Doug Trio for the gym here is just like really easy. A little more yellow on this one. All right, hit him with that razor leaf. Well, that's right. You could easily repel trick a Doug Trio because he's such a higher level. All right, we got that. Hmm. Hmm. We could go to the gym or finish up the trainers to the side. Getting Venusaur would be ideal. We saw how Brock and Misty went. If I go in unprepared, I'll get slaughtered by something stupid. Misty Starmie had Psybeam, and that stab Psychic on early game Starmie was brutal. That thing slaughtered everything in one hit. Okay. That's a Pidgey. Yeah, I won Misty through, like, uh, dumb luck, too. What now? Leave me alone. Hey, come on. I took one step in the grass. You know what? Take your extra XP, Ivysaur. There you go. Better find stronger ones. Well, better get back to work. It's a fat Pokemon that comes down from the mountains. I bet it'd be strong if you catch it. All I did was turn. Edgy is golden, a little bit. There we go. I have never lost. Well, that's about to change. Gambler Dirk. I always misinterpreted the Gambler Sprite in Gen 1 so badly. Like... The way that I, I wish I could show the sprite on screen right now, but like the way his beard looked, like it looked like some kind of like like ruffled like jester outfit, and I always just like I couldn't tell it was a beard on the tiny Game Boy screen. Dackle, or horn one, Magnemite. Um, I'll just let Charmeleon do it, I guess. You thought that too. I know, right? It didn't really look like a beard. Maybe it's because he also had, like, the cards in his hands or something. So 
thought he was just a gambling clown. I mean, I was a kid. I didn't understand, like, the, the, like, look at him. He's got that, like, Japanese, like, robe. What, what's the term for it? That specific kind, I mean. The old man gambler look there. Let me see. Isn't, like, a kimono in Yukata, like, a different kind of robe, though? I don't know. Let's hit him. One oh five. It's just luck. Luck of the draw. Well, that w he was the only one left, apparently. Damn. If that's the case, what we should do... Hang on. Let's get some battle... Let's get an a Venusaur by doing this, why don't we? Okay. Competing is the ultimate thrill. I still can't get enough. Man's addicted. He needs help. Jasper wants to battle. Oh, Bellsprout. Okay, he's going for it. No problem. He's going for the wrap. Oh, we're getting there. Sweet scent. Heck no. Sweet Scent is not something you want, like, mid-game at all. It's, it, I mean, it can be good when you're, um... I, I suppose maybe if you're, like, shiny hunting, or it, it can be nice? I don't know, do, do shiny hunters ch generally use Sweet Scent? Or is it too slow compared to just running back and forth in most grasses? If you're hunting in the Safari Zone, absolutely, that makes sense. Keep your eyes out for live wires. For sure. Here comes Magnemite. Well, I guess I'll send in Charmeleon again. It's great in Gen 6. It activates Horde battles. Like, does it exclusively activate Horde battles? Or, um... Is it more often it can make Horde battles happen? Okay, 26. Mmm, stay in. These aren't the best things to fight with Ivysaur. It will always make um, a horde battle happen in Gen 6 if they're available on the route you're on. Okay, that's cool. Magneton, send it out. Come on. They got like a little filter on them too. They got that little bit, little bit of a tint of orangish red across them. Kind of dampens their whole look. Sparklug. All right, let's try you. I raised my Pokemon carefully, and they should be ready by now. This time they should win. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna learn. Okay, Nidoran. I can't get poisoned. I may as well just tackle it safely. What's another good way of using Sweet Scent? Um, Sweet Scent isn't affected by Repel Trick. Like, you can't just use a Repel and then Sweet Scent to get the highest level thing available, right? That, otherwise, that would be a good exploit for catching roaming legendaries, but... Yeah, I don't think that would work. That would just, like, roll any encounter at all. Okay. He's taking that damage. Body Slam would be decent on Ivysaur here, but... Well, we want it to special attack. What am I saying? Someone should test if Sweet Scent actually does that. Bye-bye. Thank you and goodbye. You know, this could actually be, like, a topic of a video. An unnecessarily drawn-out video. Like, imagine, like, a 40-minute YouTube video. It's, like, explaining all the mechanics and usefulness of Sweet Scent. You'll see that and you'll be like, I don't care about this or this move, but, hey, I got 40 minutes to kill. Put this on in the background. It entirely ignores repels, so the trick would not work. Okay. Okay. I still have this Pidgey with me. Well, I don't feel like... You know what? I'm gonna get rid of it out of principle now. Oh, wait a second. 
Hang on. This game doesn't do that thing that Vanilla Fire and Leaf Green does, where it makes you um, catch 60 Pokemon in the decks to go to the to do the post game. I hope it doesn't. If I catch things along the way later, I'll do it. But eh. Okay, we got rid of you. Cut it down. Looks like there'd be something there. This gym changed? Mmm. I want my Venusaur, but, uh, Nido King needs some XP now. There's no place for kids, not even if you're good. Pikachu is coming. Send out the frickin' Nido King. Imagine a kid's walking around a frickin' Nido King and you think you can send out your goddamn Pikachu. What is wrong with you? I haven't used my disgusted face very much yet because I haven't been disgusted very much today. But I can be. You don't tempt me. <laughs> I'll probably use it when we get into Surge's battle. Hmm. This is fine. This is fine. Pikachu's getting booped and it can't do a thing. And I'm static. I can't do a thing. Wow, surprise me. I suppose I could just go try and fight Surge. Grinding to Venusaur might be overkill at this particular point. Well, well, well. Look who's a genius for carrying around all those paralyzed heals now. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined the gym. Come on. I'll just go dig on it. Because why not? I don't want to use my candies. I'll save my candies forever. Super effective. Magnemite, send it out. If Magnemite, the reason Magnemite has to float is because if it touches the ground, it it just dies. That's how weak it is to ground type. Come on. And it can't have Levitate. Poor thing. That would have made Magnezone a godlike Pokemon, wouldn't it? Hmm. Pride. Okay. Last one here. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. He was a hard taskmaster. Ah, ha ha! Magnezone does not have Levitate. No, it never has. It just floats, but don't have it. Like Geodude. Instead, Geodude gets sturdy, which isn't useful till Gen 5. Uh-oh, that's not good. All right, let's hey, let's get it. And now he's dead. Oh, and I'm paralyzed. Gentleman Tucker, stop! You're very good. All right. I'm just gonna heal, and we're gonna try and fight Surge. I feel like I should spend some money though. Oh wait, the trees don't respawn. The trees don't respawn. Ah, huh. that's cool. That's handy. Okay. No great balls here yet, huh? Buy a couple repels for the road, I feel. Actually, they're auto use, so maybe I could buy a few more. Don't really want the lures. Buy a few super potions. At this point in the game, do I really need to spend all my money? Not really. I'll just do this. It'd be a waste to spend it on items like this. So I, if I lose to Surge, I'll lose a little bit of money, so I don't care. We'll get that Squirtle soon, too. I'm gonna save in front of him for a good nature. I know I have the Versa Seeker, but I don't really want to use it right now. I want to just see if I can fight Surge. We'll see if I can take him out now. And if I need to- if it, and if he's too powerful, I can Versa Seeker the remaining trainers. Okay, let's try this now. No glitch to rely on here. There we go. 
Easy. All right, um, I'll let Nido King go because I'm gonna operate under the assumption that the last Pokemon could be Raichu with no that knows Surf. Let's see what that happens. Hey kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, not with your puny power. I'll tell you kid, electric Pokemon saved me in the war. They zap my enemies into paralysis. Same I'll do to you. All right, let's do it. He's got four Pokemon. Okay. Is he trying to screech me for self-destruct? What's he doing? Now he's trying a Sonic Boom. Voltorb is still just a filler mon. Always will be. Okay. Magnemite, send it out. So far, he doesn't have anything dangerous whatsoever. Come on, Surge. Misty gets frickin' psychic coverage now. What do you got? You got nothing. You're eating dirt. Pikachu. Go on, Pikachu, do something. Amuse me. Still set the challenge mode. <laughs> oh, insult to injury, bro. Pikachu got nothing. Nido King walls him. Wow. Well, I'm static. Time to die. Well then. He's very bright. Okay, let's do this. Quick attack. Bro, he's quick attacking at me? He don't even have Surf. I gave him too much credit. He actually cannot hurt me. Wow. That's kind of pitiful. <laughs> okay. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Everyone else had a buff team, but I guess I just got stupid lucky with Surge here. Oh, I got his autograph. Don't worry, it's not all I'm giving you. The uh, Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon speed. Let your Pokemon fly. Shockwave. Little word of advice, kid. Electricity is powerful, but its use is against ground-type Pokemon. Yeah, you sure showed me that one. I destroyed him. He didn't get a chance to do anything. Um, what we got? Um... The autograph actually with me? What do you give this to him again? He wrote, good luck. Okay. Right, that's the fan club building. Man. Brock had an extra Pokemon, and he had the EVs to tank water and grass moves. So, that Omanite got lucky with the, um, to do this hydrate and posture texture thing. The Omanite got lucky with bites, but he did nothing. Man. Would you like to take care of Squirtle? Its trainer abandoned it. How dare they abandon the turtle friend? Who would dare do that to baby Squirtle? Rash nature. Okay, a good one for this would probably be, like, Modest or something. Or anything that minuses speed, because Blastoise is not fast. We don't want its defenses going down. Let's do it. Poor baby turtle. I think I'm going to shred Erica by the time I get to her now. What am I doing? Quiet nature... Oh, that one's good. Wait, it has a buff nature, but it has less special attack than the neutral one. Oh, it probably has a really bad EV for it. Or IV. I'll reset again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's do it. Twenty-three. All right, that one's bad. <laughs> Oh, I had a good nature, but it very clearly had bad IVs compared to the last one. Or even the buff nature was worse than the neutral one last time. Relax nature, defense up, speed down. Oh, that's even worse special attack. Dude, this Squirtle's ass. Hmm. 
No problem. If I get a shiny, I'll take a shiny. Naive nature. Oh, that sucks. That's super bad. That's super bad. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. Come on, give me a good Squirtle. It's gonna be a friend for life, not a friend for ten minutes. Lonely nature. Ah, oh, you're about to be lonely. Once again, an even worse special attack, Ivy. Come on. Oh, that one's a girl. Relax nature. Ah, oh, dude, an another one with really bad... It has really good special defense IVs this time, but not good special attack at all. It has more physical attack, which is pathetic for Squirtle, I'm afraid. This is why it gets abandoned. Hey, I'm trying to get a good one. Don't worry. Come on. I'm not abandoning Squirtle in the multiverse. I'm resetting the multiverse when I do this. Ah, of course I got the speed buff one. Dude, I'm get All these Squirtles are suddenly so bad. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Squirtle. Be cool. Rash nature. <sighs> you know what? I think I'm gonna take it. I think I'm gonna take it. Why not? <laughs> take the baby turtle. I didn't abandon multiple turtles. I took only one turtle. See? 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 Now, chat, you're gonna stop calling me a bad trainer because I'm a good trainer. See? Good. I'll take this one. Minus special defense isn't that bad, considering it seems to have a much better IV for it anyway. Has a much better uh, special attack IV as well. Yeah, let's go with this. Now then, look at the baby turtle. He's happily gazing at the beautiful starry sky. Let's get some battling in. Excuse me, you shouldn't be listening in, you uncouth person. The Squirtles were wiped from existence. They were never abandoned in that case. Level 18. Baby Turtle can do this. Spit on it! Oh, you waste my time, Puff. You waste my time! Poor little Squirtle needs to wake up. Anyways, now that we're done with Surge, the next place we're gonna go is Rock Tunnel, of course. I got Flash and can use it outside of battle without teaching it. Pikachu. I'm just gonna swap Squirtle in and out. It needs one level to be War Turtle, which will give it a running start to train itself up. We could train the Squirtle in Rock Tunnel. It should be able to take out the Rock types from the Hikers and the Cubones from the few Pokemaniacs there. Squirtles can be little friends. There should be more Pokemon, or sorry, more Mario mods that replace all the the Koopas with Squirtles. That would be wholesome. Play Paper Mario instead of the Koopa Brothers, it's the Squirtle Brothers. Heck yeah. Alright, time to go wake this baby up. Go over here. I'm gonna stomp them Squirtles. Don't stomp, Squirtles! The little friends! Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle all deserve hugs. You taking care of Squirtle? I'm taking good care of it. Right, Squirtle? Yeah. Let's go, go, go. Back to start. Run with me, Turtle, run! Squirtle would probably trip trying to keep up at this pace. Can you believe someone abandoned that baby Turtle? In Kanto, too. Who abandons a Squirtle? They probably were breeding for what? Breeding for, like, a good nature, and they just ditched this one. How disgusting. I didn't do that at all, chat. I simply reset the game until I got a good one. Completely different. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. Excuse me, ma'am. I am no one's property. Alicia got out... Oddish. 
Her name is even Alicia. Ugh. I, I, not there's anything wrong with the name Alicia, I suppose. I just, I remember there, when I was in like high school, middle school, there was this creepy girl named Alicia. Really creepy girl. There we go. Let me see. Sorry, sorry to all Alicia's in chat and YouTube watchers. If I made you cry, um, I don't know. Get over it, I guess. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I didn't know this person personally. I just know that they were known for being really creepy to one particular guy. Set the bell sprout on fire. I don't really have a whole story to tell. Other than, like, ru like rumors I can only half remember. There we go. I'm ta- I'm Chat, I'm talking, like, the kind of creepy where, like, you get in fights and stuff like that. And shouting matches in other classes. I don't know. I wasn't present for any of these. I just vaguely remember that when I saw that girl's name. I'm gonna set you on fire, and I guess... Jeez, I guess I'm going back to Cerulean. Scary face? You're too cute to know scary face. Fight it. Ugh. Ember. The sprout is on fire. 360. You deceived me. <laughs> oh, be quiet, Alicia. Tunnel coming up is pitch black. You'll need Flash to get through. The DC superhero. That's who we need. Come along, baby turtle. Heal me up. I don't really need to get Mega Punch or anything like that. Oh, wait a second. I don't... I can't. I already learned it. It was useless. Roses are red. Violets are blue. This was a trick. I deceived you. Ha 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 ha. funny. Please, chat. That... That's also just like... Patty, I've met a lot more creepier people in my life. For sure. Oh, TM. Aerial Ace. Um... A lot of Pokemon can learn that. Its power is only 60. Don't know how good it'd be. Jeremy gonna Machop. Mm, all right, let's just switch. Eh, this is fine. Can't do a thing. It's only a little eensy bit of damage, chat. Teddy watches on curiously. Tackle it. Okay, good. War turtle in just a second now. Mm. Hang on. Squirtle can literally do this. It doesn't even need to evolve, I hope. Unless this hiker also has buffed IVs. Screech? How dare you hiss at the turtle. A few drops of water kills you, Onyx. You should not be talking crap when you're within spitting distance. Ooh, there we go. Skipped a whole level from the Squirtle. Alright, give me War Turtle. I kind of forgot the battle background was also a change for the evolution background. Anyways, it's fine. War Turtle's such a neat little mid-evolution. I like it. Anto's got some of the nicest looking mid-evolutions, I feel. Yeah. He's going through his rebellious phase. He's got the angry face. He's got the Sugimori angry face. Let's have a look at it now, why don't we? Okay, looking good. I love how my freaking it has almost as special attacks my 20 level 27 sorry 26 Pikachu. Ivysaur is looking pretty good for special. Yep, Charmeleon's pretty damn good. War Turtle's only level 17 though, not fair to compare when it's 10 behind. This is the guy with the Growlithe, I think. Who's that walking there with those good-looking Pokémon? What a weird ass thing to say. 
And he's called Chris. Ew! Speaking of people called Chris. Disgusting, right? Good thing I'm not called that. I'm called Christian. <laughs> Everyone's named here after weirdos. Oh, wow. That's not enough damage. Well, I am level 20, uh, 17, I should say. Ah, darn it. Mm-hmm. Scratch that. A Charmander. Come on, War Turtle. You can take a Charmander, can't ya? Excellent. Chat, I'm always weirded out when people insist on calling me Chris. It happened... Well, it used to happen more often when I started streaming. But that's such a weird thing. It's like the only people who call me that are my mom and my sister. No one else. So when a complete stranger shows up, calls me that, and people are like, "Don't, that's not his name. And then the person starts arguing that you can call someone named Christian Chris, and it's so weird. I just find that really weird. The amount of people that double or triple down on someone saying like, hey, that's not my name, don't say that. So weird. I got up early every day to raise Pokemon from cocoons. When a complete stranger starts calling me something that only my mom calls me, that, that's like, it's so weird. Don't do that. Hmm. I'm gonna swap this. Um, I'll just let Charmeleon do it. Your name's Michael, but it weirds you out if they call you Mike. Yeah. Yeah. See, you get what I mean. I imagine it'd be especially weird if you're named William and someone calls you Billy. I'd slap somebody if they did that. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. War Turtle level 18. Or Willy. Hmm. Hmm. Yum. I'll just stay Charmeleon in. Alright, just set him on fire. Set him on fire. Then again, Chad, it's me. No one even knows how to say my name right. Half the internet still thinks I'm called Pika Spray, despite me saying saying my name in every YouTube video. What? What a total waste of time. Wow. I have to collect more than bugs to get stronger. Hard lessons. Okay, just need her in here. There's nothing really on this route. I probably should heal the Squirtle's burn. Do I have a burn heal in the medicine pocket? No, I do not. Why would I carry burn heal? Best just use a Rossberry. If I have one. Oh, do I not have Rossberries? Oh, holy crap, I'm gonna have to just go back to the center. Fine. Fine game, I'll do that. Whoa, War Turtle suddenly started dancing in happiness. I do that when I'm I'm set on fire. Let's go. Let's go. Not gonna get full odds poker us with the PNG tuber again. I don't think I've ever gotten poker us in Fire Red Leaf Green. I think I might have gotten it in every game at this point except that one. Now, I don't think I've gotten it in Gen 6. Let's see. He's dancing in happiness, not being burned alive. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? He's screaming. Put me out of my misery. Help me. Go, my super bug Pokemon. Connor. Hey, how's it going, Connie? You got yourself some Caterpie there? <laughs> It's only Caterpie. I should be able to do this. I just want War Turtle to feel useful. We don't have any fully evolved Kanto starter yet. It's a good thing I tried to fight Surge quickly because he was actually a pushover. Nido King just absolutely walled him. And if you're really stuck, you, again, you could just get a Doug Trio pretty easily. I can't imagine him being that rough, even a Nuzlocke here. Hmm. Water it. Uh, 
I get poisoned, I can heal it. I may be slow, but it does not matter. Do you think Teddy Ursa gets mad when I call it Teddy? I've, I've, I mean, all Pokemon have forced nicknames assigned to them now, don't they? There we go. I got Bite. Oh, Bite's a special move in this game. I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, that's kind of good for me. Because there's no split. I'll take it, I guess. Call it Ted. Nah. Venonet. Mmm, now stay in. Just keep going with Water Gun. Call the little Ursa. Lil Ursa. I will take every excuse to gush about how cute Teddy is. Because they are so cute. Oh, why would you do that? Why would you do that, Bitternet? Why would you freaking do that? You're pissing me off here. Okay. 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 Fine. Okay. Fine. We're gonna we're gonna send in Charmeleon instead. How about that? How about that? I'm about to hit level 28. That'll be nice. Yay! 28. Hang on, is there anything? It's this guy. I'm taking the rock tunnel to Lavender. Is this the Browth guy? It's only Rattata, I should be okay. Is Dratini in the game corner? No idea. I've never really used, um, I've never used a Dragonite in a Kanto playthrough. It just seems like too much worth, or too much effort. Especially when there's barely any Dragon coverage to get out of it. You can use Dragon moves on Lance. That's it. Little Shrew deserves a little head pat too. Probably got a really rough hide there, that's for sure. What's this guy's name? Drew. Drew. If if I call if I randomly called my brother Andrew just Drew, he would be he'd probably hate that. <laughs> How you doing, Andy? How you doing, Drew? Nice. Ekans, send it out. It's gonna intimidate anyway. Drew had a sand shrew. He did. Mmm, I'm gonna send out Nido King. Oh, here comes the glare. Here we go. I'm gonna kick it. Can't get poisoned because I'm poison type. Can't measure up. Sorry, Drew, but you lose. Okay. I should probably... I didn't mean to hit that menu, damn it. I wonder if I can get another badge today. How long have I been going? Wow, hasn't even been an hour and a half? Sick. Time is really flying by, that's good. Let me see. I am glad for that. Let's see, I mentioned it before we actually began recording for YouTube, but um, aren't you a little tuppy? I, I felt, like, awful again yesterday, and I got, like, nothing done. And I ended up just sleeping really late just to, like, uh, shrug it off. feel much better now, and it's nice to just be able to sit here and stream and unwind. Okay, Geodude's down. 405. War Turtle is very quickly catching up to the rest of the crew. You know what the best part about Gen 3 is? Sturdy doesn't work like it does in Gen 5. Which means the uh, Geodude's die in one hit like they should. All is right with the world. A chop. You know what? I got the defense. Bring it on, buddy. Bring it on. All right. We'll hit it there. I mean, I can go to Erica without having to beat uh, Team Rocket. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. You can go to Erica as, pretty much as fast as you want. I can use Bite in the Lavender Tower. That'll be a place for War Turtle to gain levels. Especially since we can't levitate their poison type. Are you blocking the damn tree?
he is. He is. Why you gotta be like that, bro? Why you gotta be like that? Can't walk on the on the dirt. No matter how much the YouTube comments want to argue and tell me you can, you can't walk on the dirt. Just gotta point that out. Don't you dare patronize me. To the end of time on the Larvitar softlock video, I keep getting comments that are like, why don't you just walk on the dirt? And I'm like... You can't. You can't! Stop telling me you can! There we go. The dirt? What dirt? I gotta switch now. It's gonna kill me. I guarantee it's gonna kill me. Pikachu has nothing it can do around here. Holy crap. At least I got Thunderbolt on it now. It's got a good stab option. You wouldn't want to make me angry. Imagine if, if when I get angry, the Teddy Ursa also got angry. We can't have that happen, though. Teddy's too precious for that. Free engagement, yes, I know. That is the curse of engagement, is that it comes from people just not paying attention. Excellent. Perfect. Wait, there's two guys there. Is that, like, supposed to be, like, that coach trainer? Or is he a new, like, uh... My Pokemon rules. It's cooler than any Pokemon. I was lipping off with a swagger in my step like that when some guy named Blue challenged me. He beat us without any effort and took the swagger out of my step. If you want, I'll teach the move swagger to a Pokemon of yours. No. And in what? No. Can't get into the spirit of things? Okay extra move tutor in a random spot like that. Here comes Heidi. Well, now I gotta switch. We get slammed by the Pikachu. Got him. I can't imagine wanting to use... Oh, Clefairy! That too. Hang on. Let's let Pikachu hit it. Let's zap it. I don't need to use Swagger. Who uses Swagger in a, in a casual playthrough like this? Maybe if it was a Nuzlocke, you might want to consider it. Right now, though? No, no, no. That Clefairy's looking a little flesh... Like, flesh pink. Ooh. Oh, after all my training. Right, they are little demons. Hang on. Can, is there anything, like, different in this grass? Or is it just some odd power plant Pokemon with the Rattatas? Not worth fighting you, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'll just go and... I'll just, like, heal and go inside Rock Tunnel. We have Flash, so we can see in there. Let me get a drink. All right, I've been looking for you. It's me, one of the ever-present aides, Professor Oak. On 20 species, I'll give you a reward, an Everstone. Why? Who oh, seriously wants an Everstone? <laughs> Even like the kids playing for the first time would never do that. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't use it automatically? Oh. It just pops up on any Pokemon that can learn it. Interesting, okay. Yes. Whoa, the Pokemaniacs actually have their overworld sprite. Imagine this dude approaching you in the dark. Hey kid, you want to see my Pokemon? War Turtle suddenly danced in happiness. promise you, chap, the War Turtle does not have a shock collar on, and I'm not forcing him to dance. He is dancing of his own free will. Spit on it. Yeah, spit on that orphan. What's he gonna do about it? Tell his parents? I don't think so. That was a little dark. <laughs> Unwholesome things coming out of my wholesome avatar. 
or 65. Slowpoke? Um... I'd say Pikachu can do it. Psychic move would hit Ivysaur hard. Let's do it. Okay. That's a lot. Game over. Oh, it's even worse. He's a gamer. Oh, well. I'll get a Zubat as I go. Chat, there's nothing more frightening than gamers in dark caves. Because they can't play games in the caves, which means they're deprived. They're deprived of what they what they need, and they're just sitting there angry. Oh, come on. Just do it. I could use a repellent here. There's nothing I really need to catch, but I suppose if I run into Geodudes and Onyxes... Um... Yeah, I guess War Turtle can kill them. So let's just leave it. Let's do it. Probably use the Bubbles for him as well. Ooh, wait. Yeah, it's pretty decent. I'll take it. I draw illustrations of Pokemon when, I ho when I'm home. Even worse, a gamer artist in the cave. Gamer artist cosplayer in the caves. There we go. Rock Tunnel has everything. Come on. Eh. This is fine. Oh, nice, a crit. I needed that. Whew, I'm exhausted. I'm an artist, not a fighter. I'll go home to draw. Alright. Let's do that. What, do you, what kind of art you think that guy draws? It's Mankey. Here's the link to my cult buy. <laughs> You think he does any, like, rigging work? Does he make, like, any PNG tubers or VTubers? Maybe we should commission him. Maybe he can draw me with the pirate hat. Clearly he doesn't draw landscapes. You know, from his outfit, I would assume he didn't do that either. Send out you. I don't think we can pull up his art account on stream. There's also the fact that he's not real and doesn't have an art account. You know what? I'm, I, this joke doesn't work. Ignore me. Bulbasaur, set it on fire. He doesn't draw teddies because Kanto has no teddies. That, does, that doesn't stop him. That, that shouldn't stop you. If you want to draw Teddy Ursa, you should draw Teddy Ursa. In fact, all of you should do it anyway, because I said so. Okay, there's another one. Creeping in the dark. Hello, free XP. Gimme. We don't get Surf until Fuchsia. The Surf HM is in the Safari Zone for Kanto. Excellent. Teddy drawing stream when? Maybe. Do you know about Pokemon cosplay? Okay. Settle down, buddy. Settle down. What Pokemon is he cosplaying? It looks like he's cosplaying uh, Charizard, but he's like, but maybe like 25% of the way there. Oh, we got Red Charmander. Come on. Let's do it. His OC. Not Charizard, his OC original character, Jerryzard, Cubone. Maybe he doesn't have the budget. That's why they gotta take commissions, chat. You gotta earn some of that money. Art is expensive. That's why we're doing, that's why we're raising money now with this. Hang on, I'll fix my posture, Kiba. You wanna see my 3D model? You're gonna have to give me money for that. <laughs> well, that's that. Yes, it is. Pokemon cosplay is dressing up as a Pokemon for fun. Lefairy- <gasps> No, get the hell away from me! This man wants to dress up like the devil. No wonder he's in this dark cave. 
the hell away. How, you know, disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Mods ban this man. He's not he's not welcome in my chat. There will be no Clefairy cosplaying if I can help it. <laughs> okay. Almost choked on your sprite. Well, you should be shocked. Shocked that he dresses such a nefarious creature. I give. You're a better technician. Hell yeah, I am. What about this guy? Hit me with your best shot. It's not going to be my best shot, but it's going to kill you anyway. War Turtle. I should be safe to water gun him. Oopsie. Arate Chop. Are Teddy costumes okay? Heck yeah, they are. Everybody should enjoy dressing up like a little bit, little wholesome bear. You know what I should do? I should get like, uh, like IRL. I mean, um, I should get like little headphones that have bear ears. You know how everyone has those those headphones with the cat ears? I gotta get the bear ears. That'd be awesome. My design doesn't need it because I have my cool headphones. But IRL, that'd be awesome. No one would see them. No one would see them but me. But that'd be awesome. Fired away. What is this IRL you speak of, Mr. Streamer? I thought you were an anime character in the corner. This tunnel goes a long way, kid. That's a long way to get away from the Clefairy cosplayer. Hiker Lenny. Bubble. Imagine if instead of the Jerry Zard costumes, they were dressed up like Five Nights at Freddy's characters in here. That'd be spooky. That'd be spooky. Chat, whatever happened with Five Nights at Freddy's? I remember, like, paying attention to the YouTube scene for the first couple years, and now there's just, like, all this weird... Like, even the, the lore got, like, so weirdly out of hand, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Rapid spin. Did not learn that. You mean I'm not an anime character? No, I'm not. I'm sorry to tell you all, this is all a big lie. It's all a big scam. I put cute anime in the corner to trick you all out of giving me money. I'm sorry, I've let the secret out. I'm gonna be banished from the VTuber Association. But I can't lie to you all today anymore. I'm a switch. I'm gonna let Ivysaur get a kill. Immersion is broken right now. I'm sorry. A matter of fact, this teddy isn't even real. See? It's gone now. It's not even real. Unbelievable. And now that's gone. I had the bear on me for quite a while, didn't I? I didn't want to use it that much, but Teddy is just so wholesome for the Pokemon streams. Maybe I'm lost. Yes, you are. What do I mean? I'm not anime? I just told you. It's all a lie. It's all just a complete lie. The VTuber wants my credit card number. Yep. Afraid so. Spend it all on subs, everybody. Can't afford it. Then I'll have to ban you. See? I'll do it. This is my real face. My real colors. <laughs> Boop. It's all just one big riff. Rift. You, dude, send it out. Excellent. Once I can afford the 3D model, I'll ban everyone in chat and I'll forget all about you. <laughs> what good coverage the hikers have. War Turtle is basically part of the team already. Rock Tunnel was a great place to train this. There should be more hikers up at... Yep, there's one right here. Escape rope. I don't need to escape anything. Outsiders like you need to show me some respect. Why? Why? I'm even gonna ban the good teddies? That's right. You all mean nothing to me. Nothing. Nice. Graveler, send it out. I should be able to get these guys before they um, explode, I hope. 
I haven't seen anyone survive a water gun, or a rock ground type survival water gun since like Brock. I give. Hmm. On the day of the ban, I conveniently won't be in chat. Oh, you won't know when it's coming. You won't know when it. You don't know when it's coming. Use up these bubbles for the wild dudes. Dreamer got influenced by Cleffas and Clefairies? No, 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 no. What are, you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why would I do that? How could you accuse me? Don't you trust this wholesome, innocent face here? I was waiting for a sparkle because it looked very pink. It's It wasn't a sparkle, it's just... Oh, it's a girl, Onyx. That's why it's pink. <laughs> i never seen the palette shift that much. Flesh Onyx. No, no, shiny onyx is more like gold and orange. And steelix is just straight up gold. Just manky. Should put a little pink bow on its head, too. Oh, man. Streamer's been brainwashed by the Clefas and Clefairies. No, 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 no. No, no, they can't get to me. Don't worry. You trust Wholesome Streamer, don't you? Eh, not getting a whole lot of special attack, am I? You know how you can avoid getting lost in the mountains? You can bend twigs as trail markers. It's Puff. Eh, I'll just attack it. It's probably going to put me to sleep, though, which will suck. Roll out. Let's interrupt that game plan, why don't we? No! Don't fall for the puff charms. That's right. No love, only biting. Um, I'll let Pikachu do it, why not? War Turtle's higher level than my Pikachu now. Thunderbolt it. I feel like I'm getting pretty far today. We're already in Rock Tunnel and it's been an hour and a half. I don't think this is going to be a super long playthrough. But I kind of knew that going into this, which is fine. I just wanted like a wholesome little game to play casually when I use my little anime character. Oh, nice. One shot. Thunderbolt is quite an upgrade over Thundershock. Okay, and down here is the rock slide, dude. I don't want to learn rock slide, because it always misses. Thank you, Ray, for the sub there. I think this is an HM person, or a moved hooter, sorry. That'd be like, uh, total terror. Oh, you are scared after all. No, I'm scared of the accuracy rock slide has. away safely and is there any yeah there's items up here is I usually don't get the items because I do it in the dark but can you beat my power yeah this is fine I think in um, gen 1 this is where the task actually uses the, um, the strategy of manipulating the RNG to like make explosion miss three times in a row That's so funny Geodude, here we go. Rock Slide in VGC is apparently uh, the scariest move in VGC because you either lose because you miss or you lose because you got flinched. And I remember seeing that tweet a while ago about competitive Pokemon. It said, imagine flying to another country and losing because Focus Blast miss. And I'm like, damn. I would, I would feel like crap if I did that. <laughs> there we go. 28. Oops. Out muscled. That's right. Out muscled. Out hustled. Considered cringe. Go back to start. Put Ivysaur up front for a sec. 
You have a Pokedex? I want one too. Good for you, pal. Oh boy. That's a very cooked looking slowpoke, fresh from the oven. Yeah. I hear dogs barking outside. I don't think you guys can hear them. Imagine if they were loud enough that it would activate the sound thing for my mic microphone and make my tuber talk. Oh boy. Come on, Ivysaur. It's time for you to get those levels. Time for you to become Venusaur. Do it. This dude's got all slow pokes, not even a slow bro. Now, this episode doesn't really feel like challenge mode, does it? I feel like the last time we had a lot of trainers that were rough, but... Uh, okay, ma'am, I wasn't gonna try anything funny in the dark. Those other guys downstairs, though, especially the Clefairy cosplayer, I keep an eye on them. Oh, now we're asleep. My favorite part of the game. Time to hit the button, everybody. Ivysaur is fast asleep. If I keep jinxing it, I'm gonna suffer. Nonsense. I will jinx as much as I can. Okay, good. Evil! Kill. Kill. Was that in a net ball or a nest ball? That was a nest ball, I think. Makes sense, because Clefairy's trash. It was too dark. I've used Flash. I saw Machop in this tunnel. Good for you. Good for you. You have Pokemon. Let's start. This is the last part of the tunnel, by the way. We're about to get out. Ariana. Okay. Ooh! Get tackled. Get rustled. Get tussled. Almost. Oh, bell spread. I don't want to put get put to sleep again. I'm just letting Charmeleon set it on fire. So far, none of the trainers today have been like anything scary. Even the rival battle on the um, the SSN was pretty easy. To be fair, I I managed to get Leech Seed before he tried to set up with double team and dig. So I basically had the out in that situation. Surge just couldn't do anything because he was all built around electric moves, I can assume. So he just could not hit Nido King. None of them could. Let's see. I guess he did okay damage with a, with a quick attack after Voltorb screeched me, but that was pretty bleh. Pretty meh. You play hard. I do. I do. I'm such a little rascal. Let me get that item up here. This is where they put a legendary in one game. What was it? I think you know over red. This is where they put Terrakion. Let me see. Oh, here's a pink onyx again. Very pink onyx. Yeah, you know over red had to put the the three swords ha around somewhere. Verizion was to the side of Viridian Forest where you get Flash. You see. Uh, Terrakion was up there. Where was Kabalion again? I can't remember. Um, oh, I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. It was somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, this is gonna bother me now. Was it in Victory Road? No, I'm talking about Unova Red, not uh, Unova. All right, Ivysaur, just boop him a little bit, take him out. Was it where you get Eevee? Was it? Was it? A, was it on top of the the Celadon building? I can't remember. I'm gonna send out Nido King here. I don't want Ivysaur to die. Can't remember what Moltres was replaced with. No. 
I want to say the power plant legendary was um, Zekrom. And uh, Seafoam Island Articuno was Kyurum. That was annoying. A Charmeleon in. Don't worry, it's only Oddish. I remember Kalos Crystal just made them roaming legendaries, but I didn't do a Pokedex run of that. What happened was that there was a secondary roamer cutscene. When you go to Mount Silver and Kalos Crystal, you just awaken Reshiram, Zekrom, and Kyurem, and they wander around Kanto or something. Let's see. Now we're free, chat. Free as can be. Where was Keldeo? Yeah. No, wait, I think Keldeo, Meloetta were basically uh, trade trades only. I want to say they were. You can only get them from NPC trades because they couldn't put them literally anywhere else. And I guess that's because they were event Pokemon. Oh, cutscene. Whoa. Orphan's going there. That's the first time we've seen a new added cutscene. That's cool. I used Meloetta on my main party in Kalos Crystal. It was cool. I love the sprite work for that one. Um, hang on. We should take out the remaining trainers up here still. Hey, kid. You want to see my Pokemon? Come on, kid. You want to see my Pokemon? This is why he has to hang out here. I don't think he's around. I don't think he's allowed within the city limits. Just a hint, just a feeling. Imagine living in Lavender Town and the scariest thing isn't the Lavender Tower, it's the cave filled with nerds to the north. And that would be spooky. That would be extra spooky. Okay, let's do it. 466. Oh no, my Pokemon. I don't like you. I don't like anyone better than me. Oof, haters gonna hate, chat. Ah, the mountain air is delicious. Hang on, I don't think I took a drink when you redeemed Kiba. Let me let me just do that right quick. That onyx is green. Chat, what's the worst place to go through? Lavender Town or Rock Tunnel? Hmm. I don't know. That guy wanted to cosplay as a Clefairy. That's all you need to know about that location. At least when you got a light, it's safe. Damn it. Still not 32. I just want my Venusaur. I want it to follow behind me and be cool and stuff. I'm feeling a bit faint. I haven't hiked in some time. Mossy Onyx. That would be a cool regional form. Onyx with moss on it, and it could be grass uh, ground instead. It can be four times weak to ice. Uh, it's too annoying to kill these things with tackle. I'm switching. Get Thunderbolted. Even Steelix isn't that great. Um, set it, keep it in. Onyx is a thing. Wait a second, there's a Mega Steelix, right? Was Mega Steelix any good? I don't even remember. Okay. I'm too tired. Wasn't up for it. Yeah. Pokemon here in the mountains are so chunky. Okay, girl, they're trying their best. What's your problem? I wish there was a pink Pokemon with a floral pattern. Ha 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 ha. Didn't I have to use an Onyx for a stupid battle at some point? I think I did in Blaze Black, didn't I? I had to just throw in an Onyx into that battle against Elisa because she just had, like, so many bad electric moves, and I actually unironically needed Onyx to, like, stall the first one. That's funny. 
Okay, Venusaur is basically acquired, so let's let War Turtle do this. Yeah, when Mega Evolution was relevant, it, it really felt like there was only like three or four of them that were so overpowered that the rest of them were pretty much irrelevant. Haha, <laughs> not laughing. Hey, Fever. Ha ha ha. Ooh. Ooh. Look, everybody. I'm gonna get Venusaur. And it's cool and stuff. Go, 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 go. Giant friend, your Ivysaur became Venusaur. Look at it, chat. Ooh, it's a friend. And it's giant. Venusaur is happy, but shy. Hey, that's me! Seems angry for some reason. Hey! That's also me. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I need the ver- oh, Hang, I need the version with the be without the bear. There we go. I ruined the joke. Grr. <laughs> now that we got it... Um... Pikachu and Nido King need some stuff. I should see if I can get Raichu soon. Quite shortly, in fact. Maybe we should do the rival battle here here first. I wonder if it's like, hang on, I wonder if it'll be like Let's Go, where you have to see Team Rocket abduct the Cubone first. Yeah, I might need to do that. So hang on, we'll pop in for pop in this place. Why is there a little thing here? You believe in ghosts? No. That white hand on your shoulder, I'm just imagining it. Yeah. Yeah. Spooky. It's very purple in here. More than normal. Hey, what brings you here? Your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive. I can at least make them faint. My Pokemon aren't dead. They're awesome. Alright, let's get them. Second rival battle today. Very lavender. Ooh, that hurts. The force of my hasty nature. But, you got booped. Gloom? Okay, the shiny gloom is coming. Best I got for that is Ember still. Really? That shiny gloom? It looks even more sick. Is it okay? It looks like some- it looks like someone left it to die. Ugh. Well, guess we're gonna have to wait here now. Oh, cool, we're getting Sludge Bomb while I'm sleeping. Chad, I'm going to die. I'm gonna die. Death is not good. Alright then, Thrash it is! What does Shiny Blossom look like? I'm curious now. Uh oh, I I couldn't kill it with thrash. What is this gloom made of? Well, I guess it's probably EV trained, right? At least he doesn't have. Uh, never mind. Never mind. I'm dead. <laughs> I was gonna say at least he probably doesn't have a strong grass move, and then he crits with one. Here's the challenge mode kicking in. Here's the challenge mode kicking in. Jolteon. Yeah, send it in, bro. Send it in. It looks like that second battle didn't matter with changing his, um, evolution at all. He got the hardest one. It's probably because I'm playing challenge mode, yeah. Get him. Yeah, we got him, lads. That was pretty good. That could have been really bad. What? You stinker. I took it easy on you. I'm sure you did. How's your Pokedex coming along? I just caught a Cubone. Why can't I find the larger Marowak? Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I got a lot to accomplish, unlike you. Smell you later. What a dork. If I go up, will there be a cutscene? No. 
Okay, so I guess there is no Team Rocket abduction scene anymore. Like, let's go ahead. But they added the let's go cutscene of the Cubone walking in the tower. Oh, th th there it is. Never mind. We came all the way to Lavender Town in the boss's orders, but where in the world is this old man Fuji supposed to be? Gotta get going, friend. Catch you later. Thanks for coming to the stream. The only place left is the spooky old tower, right? That's right. We couldn't get to the top because of that strange ghost getting in the way. Hit the button. Orphan! Well, we couldn't find that old man, but at least we found this Cubone. Let's get it back to our hideout. At least we'll have something to show for your trouble. Right, let's head to the Rocket Game Corner and sell it on. Huh? Aw, oh, does the Winnell Cubone want its mommy? Your mommy's in Celadon. Come with us, we'll take you there. Mama! Uh-oh. Nat, that's decided. I think we better blast off. Alright then. Let's heal and go. Catch you later, friend. Oh. Chat, sometimes I feel bad that I can't, like, respond to every single chat message. I, I've been watching some smaller streamers lately, and it's a lot more manageable for them. I'm not trying to, like, throw shade when, when I say that or anything. But it's physically not... Even, like, for someone at me... Like, I'm not, like, a giant streamer, let's be real. I can't respond to every single thing. What's a cute, round, fluffy Pokemon? Teddy! You're used to it. D okay, okay! <laughs> it used to being ignored. Okay. Keeping up with 10 messages is easier than 30 or 40. Yeah. Excellent. Thunderbolt. Excellent. Notice me. No. I know people joke about that, but, um... It is a real thing I've seen over the years where people will get extra pissy if they show up to a stream and the streamer doesn't immediately, like, drop everything to, like, welcome them, read all their messages and stuff like that. It's kind of cringe. I promise you when you do that, the streamer does see your message. They're just making it... They're, they're going out of their way to ignore you because they don't want to reward that, you know what I mean? You've seen big chats. They're impossible to keep up. Yeah, the ones were... I mean, if you have, like like, over a thousand viewers, the, the chat is just, like, going by so, so, so fast. You, you can't possibly keep up with everyone. Let me see. That's why I don't mind, like, the larger people using, like, sub-only mode. That Even then, it can be a little bit out of hand. Let me see. Lefairy is causing the devil's magic to be activated. I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah. I'm gonna switch. Pikachu, how could you fall for those evil charms? Yeah, jerk. Get paralyzed. Five times. That's evil. Mm, let War Turtle get the kill. You may only speak to me if you've paid. I mean, I know what I mean. Know what you mean on the surface? That's what sub only mode could could be interpreted as, but like. For the larger, like, for the larger streams, I understand its use. It also kind of filters out the people that are there just to spam bot links. Which is, a, a, like, that's like a problem every other month once the bots figure out how to do something else. Or rather, how they make other bots. Don't be mean to Clefairy. No, I will. The one that I find weird is the... Hang on, I'm gonna go heal again. The one that I find weird is, like, when you have, like, a Discord server that you can only get into if you're subbed to the streamer. Let me see. Okay, healed up. Perfect. Because especially, like, when I hear from people that, um, that have been in some of those servers, and the streamer is just, like, never there. Ever. I'm a rambling, gambling dude. I took a while to make a server because I wanted it to act wanted to actually be able to use it and post in it. And then I make it and people tell me I'm like the most active streamer in my own server and I'm like, how? People will tell me that like the other streamers will be like they'll use it like once they'll show up like once a month. And I'm like, how? What's even the point of having it at that point? Like I'm not trying to be like, oh look at me, I'm I, I'm better than other streamers with this. I'm just, like, genuinely confused. Why have it at that point? 
me see. All right. Um, every VTuber, big VTuber has a chat that goes so fast that uh, you don't even see them anymore. Oh, absolutely. People will repost the same chat messages over and over in hopes the streamer will notice. I, I see that too. I It is annoying when it happens. Oh, I'm sealed. All right. Seen one where a streamer just turns up once a month and they're like, hey guys, new merch, and then they mute the server for themselves. Uh. Missed the big score. Big score, chat. Let's go. You should be informed. You need strategy to win at this. No, Pikachu go burr. That's my strategy. Glenn's got Grimer. Zap him. Where's my merch? Don't have any yet. Harder to make merch if you're Canadian, because the shipping to the US is atrocious. It's cheaper to sh ship stuff to the UK for some goddamn reason. If I could, though, I would love to sell a plushie of my avatar. That'd be nice. Why the heck not? Hmm. Don't ask me why, but shipping across the ocean is cheaper than just sending it, like, a little bit to the south. We're right next door. I know. Don't ask me. International trade is not something I'm an expert on. Uh, let Charmeleon do it. Unless I get everything produced in the U.S. or whatever. Not to mention, I think a lot of people are also very hesitant to make any merch whatsoever. Um, what am I saying? What am I saying here? There was a thing a few months ago, right? There was a merch company that, like, a lot of streamers were using for making stuff. And all of a sudden, they just, they shut down. They didn't refund any orders. And they just left everyone hanging and, and went bankrupt. And everyone was pissed. Because lots of, like, streamers were basically set, like, basically sitting around being like, Yeah, they took my money. They took your money. And now I'm basically getting yelled at everyone because they're not delivering anything. That's so crappy. So, I think streamers basically had to refund people out of their own pocket, which is such ass. Okay, Grimer's coming now. Um, I'll let Nito King do it. Let's do it. Time to go dig. I can't sell Teddy merch. I don't own Teddy Ursa. It would have to be Legally Distinct Bear. However, I own the rights to my design. For the record, na the character name is just Asprey, my name. You see, not that Pika is copyrighted, or I'm even called Pika. Been over that 10,000 times. You see. There's... Yeah, there's something hidden here. Lumberry. Perfect. Asprey Kun, never call me that again. There's berries up there. Yeah, we should take out all the trainers. Hmm. I must look silly standing here like this. Even the game grumps got hit by stuff like that, was it? The one that shut down? I have a generic Teddy plush for a state, but I don't have it set up to use right now. I only have a button for Teddy Ursa like this. See? Now I'm holding the Teddy again. And now I'm not. Teddy on. Teddy off. Teddy on. Teddy off. I have the power. I can give and take the bear away. Hmm. Send out Nito. Nito King looks like he's just ready to deck somebody. And that somebody's about to be Pikachu. Oh, boy. Yeah, one day they just woke up went, or, and were like, bam, no more merch or company, and then they just left. It's great. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Ratata. We'll have to send it out something else now. I want Pikachu to get some levels for crying out loud. It needs it. I've learned Thunderbolt, so if I can't evolve Pikachu, I'm going to do it. 
Come on. I do want to see if I can beat Erica today, at least. This is the only game I'm playing, so I'm not going to do a short... Like, I'm not going to stop, like, anytime soon. Three to four hours of this. Okay. Yay. Meowth. Okay. Everybody's a VTuber now. It's fun, ain't it? Okay. I think this is, like, what, my... Yeah, I said it earlier. This is like my third week of doing this. Perfect. Um, do I want to fight them all right now? I kind of do because I want everyone to have some XP. Meowth is cute. Meow, meow, meow. We'll fight everyone here and then we'll just try and fight Erica. Her gym has lots of trainers as well. I wonder if her gym will use the Let's Go Maze or just the generic one. We'll find out when we get in. Thundershock. Thundershock! There's still quite a few games I'm not using the model for, but I'm using it for quite a few things right now. It's fun. I'm gonna use it for Mario Party again on Thursday. Tomorrow's Mother 3 Day, though, so I'm not using it for that. Payday. Excellent. By the way, chat, it occurs to me at the moment we are near the end of the month, so the sub goals are gonna be starting. Let me see. Uh, I'll keep going. Getting the PNG tuber done was a lot faster than I expected, but like a, a whole rig 3D model, that's 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 a lot of time and money you gotta put in for that. So we'll see if we can get that. Will I eventually use it for every game? I don't have to use it for every game. I just gotta use it when I want to for fun. Okay, quick attack. I know I wanted to use it as an excuse to replay some Paper Mario games and the mods. School is fun, but so are Pokemon. Yes, they are. Leslie sent out a coughing. Alright, we're gonna zap with a Thunderbolt. Excellent. Also, I got curious. Just wanted to check something. Once again, I noticed we seem to have, like, significantly more people than normal since I started using this. That's been fun. Excellent. And you? I like Nidoran, so I collect them. Perfect. Get that money. That's right. Money makes the world go round, and I'm here to take it. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Who saw that happening? Kill it. What is that you got there, Miner? Did someone make, like, a page for me on on a list of VTubers? Is that what that is? I have no idea. Power of anime pick in the corner. Chat, when I started doing this, I didn't really give a crap if it would get me more or less views. I just wanted to do it because I wanted to. Oh, I'm out of Thunderbolts. Damn, I used them all up. I didn't even notice. Yes, someone did. Huh. Well, that's neat. Uh-oh. I got critted. It's fine. How far am I? Uh, this is. I'm three badges in. Let War Turtle go. Power of Arceus and PNGs on my side. Heck yeah. It says on the page that I like Teddies and Coco. Does it really? Wait a second. Hang on. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click that link. Let me see it. Let me see it. Wow. Yeah, likes teddies and hot cocoa. Uh, let me see here. Has my birthday listed. That's a little weird. Has it, how many days are left until my birthday? And it has a debut date. It does. Huh. What, is that actually the day, the first day I started using this? March 13th? Has my zodiac sign. Let me see. What the hell is an Oshi mark and why is that left blank? Let me see. The height and weight are left blank. That's okay. I don't have that info out there. It's, it's weird. Someone was searching for that. I am ranked number 225 for most followed VTubers on Twitch. Really? That's a lot higher than I expected. Not gonna lie. 
I'm gonna have to verify some of that info. That's... Alrighty then. I'm in top 250. Really? Me? That's a little that's a little shocking and hard to believe. Well then, we're just going to have to go for the number 1 spot. Hand over your money, chat. Let's make it happen. Not as many VTubers on Twitch, I guess. I guess that's true. All right, let's take these. They're a double battle there. Oopsie. I didn't mean to use that, but now that I did, why not? I also don't have the bike. I never got it. I kind of need to go back for that. I can do that once I get the drink for Saffron. That's interesting. That's interesting. The fact that I was already a streamer beforehand obviously helped. Chat, did you ever hear, like, the, the saying where if you have, like, more than 20 viewers when you're live on Twitch, you're in the top 1%? Like, um, there's just so many people that do streams, and, it, like, that if you have just a slight amount of viewers, you're, you're just, like, miles and miles above everyone else. That's just how the stats actually work. Let me see. The site has 2,902 2, VTubers on record. Wow. Damn. That's really, really nice. Thank you, Random Site, for telling me that apparently I'm, uh, ranked pretty high up. I've accomplished something in my life. Look at that. I'm in the top percentage of rat attack. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna set this on fire and hope it burns. It did not burn. Look at that, chat. I should make a little state where I'm holding a trophy. That'd be hunt. That'd be nice. Dang. I mean, obviously it helps that I've been streaming for like five years before using this. Does that count as cheating? I think it might count as cheating. Nah, it's not cheating. Ember. Excellent. I gotta switch again. Um, War Turtle should be able to do it. I found the IRL action replay code. That's right, all YouTubers. Fun fact, once you get to a certain amount of views, YouTube mails you an infinite money button. Where you push a button and it makes a weekly video and you get infinite money from it. I, I, I'm probably going to have my uh, button revoked now. Now that I've spilled the secret, but it's true. I, I have so much money bags now, I don't know what to do with all of them. Did I get more viewers from showing up on Small Ants Pokemon Challenge? I mean, people... Uh, Pokemon viewers generally already knew who I was appearing on that stream, so that didn't really have much of an effect on me, to be honest. Uh, effect on viewers, I mean. It's not logical. Alright, let's go down here and heal again. Watch it all go off and off. Ooh, let me get a drink here. Apparently, Point Crow knows me. I imagine most of them know who I am, but I did see a clip of that where, um, I think you showed it to me. Where, um, someone mentioned my name to him, and he's like, oh, I love that guy. And I'm like, hey, cool. Let's see. I'll put Pikachu up second here, why don't I? Let's do that. Could get a lot of viewers if I got a Yu-Gi-Oh outfit when playing. I really like the Yu-Gi-Oh streams a lot. I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh Tag Force on PSP, and it's one of the most popular things I play. I randomly was just like, you know what? I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh games, and they do stupidly well for me. Even like those really old streams of Legacy of the Duelist, which I like, I have no idea what I'm even doing in those. <laughs> but the people go back and watch them. Let's see. Should I get, like, a little a little dual disc when I play? By the way, I guess for Yu-Gi-Oh, something I could mention. I was thinking of having a stream of playing Master Duel with chat, but we, like, would limit what decks we could use, and chat could try and teach me how to use modern cards. Because, like, I, I've tried playing Master Duel on my own, and I'm just too confused, and I feel like it's probably just better to just ask for help. 
Let me see here. Let's see. I think over a while, I'd probably be discouraged from that, because half the time when I play Yu-Gi-Oh!, it's someone like someone just complaining that I'm doing something wrong, and it's like, dude, it's I, I don't know. Hang on, give me that. Come here, you. Clear the way, or run you down. Chat likes to be included. Exactly. More inclusion means more money for me. I mean, more money for me. You know that cutout of Mr. Krabs where he's like, the money is always right. Excellent. Let's do it. Would join the Master Duel thing, not the yelling at me part. Oh, don't worry! The PNG tuber ha has given people new reasons <laughs> to yell at dumb stuff. Oh, I don't worry about that anymore. I imagine I might be confused when I go to Forbidden Memories, though, because that game is crusty as heck. Let's do it. Stream learning a language to farm engagement for people making fun of it. Yeah, I don't know if I need to do that. Could have a cookie baking stream or a card opening stream. Why not? Excellent. Just keep going. Keep spitting at it. It'll die. Water gun is just spitting at people. Damn, I missed. I, you can do it, Grimer. I believe in you. You can do it. Oh. I like hiccup burp there. Sorry. Excuse me. Oops. Oh, that was annoying. Oh, I don't know if the mic caught all that. Are you for real, kid? Oh. Ow. Excellent. I'm gonna heal right quick. Use a potion. Super potion. You know what? Use another one, because why not? My bike's acting up, man. Yes, it is. Biker Ricardo has that. Can't use dig on coughing, so here we are. Coughing doesn't look like it's floating that much. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I don't need to be like Rebecca Hawkins for Yu-Gi-Oh!, just because she has a little teddy? No, no, no. Besides, she only had the teddy from that one episode. Then she came back and she had glasses and not a teddy. Therefore, she's cringe now. War Turtle in level 30. Um, my special attack could be better, but... Last noise is more defensive, right? Let's use Dig and hit him. Mmm, yeah, do it. Someone took her eyesight and her teddy? Oh, no. That's right. That did totally happen. My goodness. 29. Aw, oh, man. I am not into this. Alright, you lose, loser. This guy moved all the way over here, so you can't do that silly glitch no more. I always love the movement of shame for this guy. Gambler stand the man. Oh, Poliwag. Hmm. We're getting slapped. Ooh, that did more than I thought. This is fine. Oops. Hit the wrong button there. There are plenty of Yu-Gi-Oh games that I have not played, but it, it's nice. Like, it, it is kind of weird to think about how Yu-Gi-Oh seems like it's more popular than ever. It's never gonna get that same amount of popularity that it had in, like, 2001 and 2 when the anime was airing on TV. But, like, it seems like just, it, like, um, in the last few years, it just kind of popped off and people actually, like, are more playing the card game more than ever. Let me see. Um... There aren't nearly as many video games as there used to be. The video games were just kind of coming out, like, every year until, like, maybe 2013. 673. Drat! Came up short. Okay, we'll take this. 
You look good at Pokemon. How's your chemistry ga grade? Bleh. Super nerd Aiden would like to play. Okay, getting tackled. No, no, it was getting more. It was getting more surge in popularity before Takahashi passed away. I'm afraid. It wasn't exactly like his death that like uh, urged people to play it more. There we go. I think Duel Links did kind of give it a big surge of popularity as well, but no one plays that really plays that one anymore. Yeah, they kind of moved on to Master Duel. They want to play like a video game for it. But there's no, like, I guess, to be fair, there is that Rush Duel game on Switch. Like, they're making some stuff, but nothing like the, the stuff they used to make. Yeah, I guess, to be fair, they're making they're making more games than, like, the, the Drought in the 2010s. I'll keep battling here. Like, there weren't really Zexel and Arc 5 games. There was that one Zexel 3DS game, and I guess Tag Force Special. Okay, we'll do this. 537. Super Nerd Iden defeated. Okay, that's nice. Hmm. We'll see. The thing about modern Yu-Gi-Oh! about, like, wanting to play it is... Like, I got some friends in my brother Andrew that also, like, kind of follow that stuff. It seems like it's it's kind of just like a rotation of like one or two good decks half the time, and then there's a really, really busted one. Hang on, who are you? Berries look so sad when they aren't watered. Let's water them across the region. Watering can. Okay. This is where you get that. Do that. But there's so many cards in Yu-Gi-Oh that you can just make like a bunch of different stuff and, and enjoy playing them with friends at like similar power levels. Okay, we're at Celadon now. Let's do this. Hope to see you again. Okay. Do I go right for Erica? I'm feeling cocky. I kind of want to. No flamethrower on you. Yeah, let's... I say we go for it. I say we go for it, chat. Perfect. Let me see. Does he say it? This gym is great. It's full of women. <laughs> Gotta check every ROM hack to see what he says. <laughs> I should tell you about this gym. Only real ladies are allowed in here. Hey! Excuse me. I'm cute enough for that. Last keg on a bell sprout. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you for some freaking fire on Charmeleon. What was Dual Generation? I think I remember hearing about that. It was like another mobile game that launched, but it actually like flopped pretty hard. Beats me. Set her on fire. Man, I might have Charizard by the end of this. All I have is Ember, not Flamethrower though. Welcome, I was getting bored. I did want to try and get into Card Fight Vanguard. I kind of mentioned that, like, well over a year ago, but I never, like, haven't been arsed to do it yet. There are some games on Steam for it, aren't there? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. You know, Card Fight Vanguard is still a thing, right? One I have been playing a little bit more recently, not very much, actually, um... The newer Digimon card game, I got a starter deck with one of my buddies and we played that. It was actually pretty fun. It doesn't have like any video games or official online sims though. You have to use, you have to set up like an awkward fan setup thing in a tabletop simulator. Let me see. Yeah, let's do it. The last time I hung out with um, said buddy, we tried to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And he played, like, a Synchro Spam Red Dragon Archfiend deck, and I just, I literally could not do anything, and it's like, damn, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm, I'm figuring out power levels in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Weren't you peeking in here earlier? I was not. Do you have proof of this? Hmm? Hmm? That's right, Tina. Send out your Bulba. Excellent. 
Hard Fight Vanguard has like an anime or something, right? I think it does. Excellent. My brother Andrew told me that the current Yu-Gi-Oh meta is uh, the current the current popular deck is so good that it's basically the exaggerations that all people say about Yu-Gi-Oh. Where everyone says you can't do anything, you can't play. Yeah, that's the current that's the current popular deck or something. I think people are also memeing because it's super expensive or something too. Again, I don't pay close enough attention to this to know or care. So uh, give me engagement and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. <laughs> I know there's always a current, uh, always a current popular deck, but I'm told that this one is just like, uh, what's the term? Like tier zero, where it's so good it just like pops everything else. Look, look, see my Pokemon? I like grass types. They're easy to raise. Let's do it. Oh boy. Set the Sprout on fire. Will we get a Charizard? Let's find out. Let's do it. Mm. Ember. Thirty-two. That's good. No! Learning new games is fun, chat, but when a game has, like, decades of history and stuff for you to learn, it can be really intimidating. Especially in, like, the days of the, you know, the age of the internet where everyone wants to gatekeep fun. But, like, you know, if you put the time in, you can figure stuff out. Yeah, let's fight you. Welcome to Celadon. You better not underestimate the nice ladies here. You think I'm scared of girl power? Go on, bring it. Trainer Mary. I don't know anything about magic. I've never been, like... I have no, like, attachment to magic. I care about Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. And anything with, like, pretty anime characters, that's how you get suckers like me to play it. I might sound foolish, but I'm speaking the truth. Ember. Oddish is dead. Weeping Bell. MTG has anime waifus now. Mm, it probably not worth it still. Critical hit. Bloom. I know that Duel Masters apparently still is still going strong in Japan. It flopped super hard in the US, but like it's stupid popular in Japan. But no one gives a crap about it outside of Japan. Must suck to be a Duel Masters fan. Uh oh. Well, that sucks. And burns. If you're a dungeon dice monster fan, well, you just have no game. Um, I'll send a Needle King for this. The anime art ones are absurdly inflated in value compared to regular ones. The waifu tax is real. The waifu tax is real. So I've heard about that for card games. It's when people buy up the waifu cards and they sell them online for more expensive prices because they uh, they want to get the casual people that want the anime cards only. That's that's a thing people do. Oh, beaten. No matter how playable it is, how good it is, how bad it is, if it has a cute anime girl on it, top up your money, fellas. Exactly correct. Hang on, let me use the Paralyze Heal. We'll go back to the center after we beat the main trainers. Oh, hey, we don't like bug or fire type Pokemon in here. In Kanto, when you're all half poison type, don't think so, you little liar. Unless your name is Tangula. Hello, friend, welcome to stream. Thank you, I think my PNG tuber is cute too. Oh, right. Bloom, send it out. Hmm. Send it on fire. Eh, Exeggutor. I, I kind of forget he's part grass type half the time, which sounds silly because he's a tree. But, like, people aren't playing Exeggutor because it's a grass type. Oh, you. In Gen 1, I mean. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. 
Okay. Now let's do this. I do have Pokemon cards. I collect those ones the most. Like, I collect Pokemon card sets. That's kind of why I want to do some pack opening streams. Help get my money back from that. I bought some of the new set, actually, but I don't have a binder for it yet, so... Yeah. Be waiting. Okay. Let's go right here. Excellent. Excellent. Pokemon is fun to collect until you get... Until there's a stupid expensive card that, uh... Is annoying to get. Like, remember when they made that Van Gogh Pikachu? And there were literal, like, videos taken of grown-ass adults fighting to grab them all so they could scalp them online. That was cool. Has that card gone down in price? Because I kind of want to... I, I need to eventually get it for my promo binder. That's the thing. Like, it's not even the collectors trying to get it. It's just... For a while, especially where I live, um, people would, like, go to, like, every store and buy up all the Pokemon stuff to resell it online. You could not find Pokemon stuff for a good while a few years ago. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh, dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon. My Pokemon are Grass-type. I'm sorry, I had no idea you want to challenge me. Very well, I shall not lose. The same thing happened for Cabbage Patch Dolls, too. Really? Funny. Oh, boy. Let's set you on fire. Let's go. Let's find out if Erica's got what, she, got what it takes to uh, be in challenge mode. It's about $80 right now. The Pikachu card? That's not too bad. I actually have some of the most expensive cards from the shiny sets. I've got the shiny Gigantamax Charizard, which was several hundred dollars when it was new. I pulled it from a pack, and, um, I recently got the shiny Terra Dark-type Charizard card with the alternate art. That one's also, like, a couple hundred. Probably has gone down a little bit, because the set's no longer new, but... It's so nice when you get- when you collect cards, and you get the stupid expensive one from, like, a $5 pack. Instead of just buying, like, um, spending hundreds and hoping it arrives in the mail in good condition. There you go. No problem. This one's out for blood. Come on. I don't think I'm low enough for, um, Blaze to activate. Damn. Alright, we did good there. Um, what should I go for? What should I go for? Save Venusaur for last. Probably best just go for Thrash. Nice. Bloom? What? Oh. She's got Bloom and Vile Plume, I was about to say. Okay, let's do it. It's got Giga Drain. Oh, this is bad. Hmm. Nido, Nido King's gonna go down, for sure. At least get a good hit on it before I go down. Crit? Nah. Okay, that's great. Yeah, um... Pokemon card stuff, like, really blew up a few years ago because there were some popular YouTubers making videos about it. That's what happened. Um... Gosh, what do I do here? I can't seed it because it's a grass type, so I kind of just have to hit it. I'm in a bad spot. Um, one of my local stores... Are you serious? It's got a track too? Damn, I'm screwed. Um, one of my local stores actually had a break-in happen. Like, it, like, people were so desperate to scout Pokemon cards. They broke into the freaking card shop and they stole the package products, right? They didn't even steal any of the expensive single cards in the in the display case because they obviously didn't know those were worth a damn. Like, it was so funny. It's not funny because it was a locally owned store, but just pretty hilarious in a sense that like they broke in to steal the cheapest stuff because they were trying to scalp it. 
Oh, we're basically doomed here. I need to, like, get Charmeleon trained up a bit more. Ember wasn't enough to cut it. The Gloom, I talked crap about it, and now it's killing me. No, they weren't desperate for cards. They were desperate to sell them. People who actually want Pokemon cards aren't having fights in Walmarts, like uh, social media have you believe. The people having the fights in the Walmarts are the people that, like, are trying to, like, sell stuff on eBay for three times the price. Were they caught? I actually don't know. Of course, full heal. There we go. The people who want Pokemon cards just order a single online. They're not, they're not like, having a f fist fight for a couple packs, like... <laughs> That's a thing that a lot of people did not understand about all that stuff. Excellent. Yeah, that local store, your local store got broken into, too. Damn. That sucks. They stole, a, like, one console and passed over the really expensive games right next to it. Oh, yeah, it's so gross. Why are people like this? Because money. You have to remember, this was also, like, during the lockdown years. So, th another reason Pokemon cards got uh, expensive is because people would just kind of, like, buy them online and kind of, like, do collecting as a hobby. I was one of the people doing that. I got into it with the Sword and Shield cards. And I was enjoying it until you couldn't get them anywhere because of uh, jackasses doing that. Hmm... I'm guarding the poster. Go away or else. All right. Here's Eradicate. Look at that little animation. Ember. Getting scary face. The scary face looks like the Thousand Year Door black chest face. Oh, drink's getting low, but that's okay. When I have Charizard, we will sweep Erica. Um, first, just let Pikachu do this, though. Oh, wait, I should... Dude, I should go get a Thunderstone. What am I doing? I need to see if that works. I'm pretty positive it should. Unless that screenshot the dev made was a bamboozle. Let me see. Dang. Darn, that sucks. Team Rocket Hideout might be discovered. I better tell boss. Well, I know that is a bit of a, a real thing, friend. Um, there are people that go to card game events with the sole intention of stealing cards. Those are the people that, unfortunately, kind of know what they're doing, which is messed up. Like, Because if you're playing at a, a card game tournament and you leave your deck unattended, there are people that will like just like try and swipe it and put it in their pocket. Because they know that if they grab something random like that at an event, it's probably worth a few hundred, probably me maybe even more. I heard Yu-Gi-Oh is especially bad for that, sadly. Because the cards are more expensive in that case. Okay, buy a Thunderstone. Oh, he sells Stun- Wait, he sells Sunstones! Oh, that means you can run Velossum in this game. That's cool. Only Johto Pokemon I've seen access to so far. What am I doing? What am I doing? Go down the Thunderstone... It works on Pikachu! Sorry, chat. Friendship is forever, but Raichu's got better stats. Okay. Um, I thought this was yellow version. Raichu is cute, too. That's right. Raichu's a little friend. My one's looking a little bit, uh... A little bit yellowish-green. Look at that. It follows me around still, though, if I put it up front. Look at him. Cool. Raichu is surveying the area for threats. Sick. Raichu's cool. I like Raichu. The Alolan Raichu's pretty cool as well. I never really got to use one. A Gen 7's kind of the only one you really can can get away with using it in a casual playthrough. I think you can use the Scarlet and Violet DLC to get one early now, can't you? Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's do this. There's people at Yu-Gi-Oh! tourneys that keep their deck on a chain for that very reason. You mean like the deck box? You obviously you can't chain the cards. There we go. 
Raichu is regular in Coastal Biome. How do you get Alolan Raichu and um, Scarlet and Violet again? I can't remember the method. Right, I should just go in the... down here. Let me make a save right quick, though. Transfer only. Wait, you can't get Alolan Raichu? Damn, that sucks. So you can only get it from Alola or Let's Go from the NPC. A little lame. Get out of the way, Clefairy. Shouldn't spend all your money on drinks. <laughs> Who would do such a thing like that, chat? Who would do such a thing like that? Now we can go to Saffron. You can get it in Sword and Shield as well, can't you? Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, the only way to actually evolve Execute into a Lolan Executor is is to evolve on that one specific island. So you have to do the, either do the trade and let's go, or just catch it as is, correct? Okay. Wait, why did I go back to the gym? What am I doing? I can't fight you. Why did I come here? I don't know what I'm doing. My bad. Hang on, I wanna go get the fly HM. I should be able to do that, right? Or a Snorlax block in the front part. Okay, good, it doesn't do Sprite, though. That's such a tiny space to the left of Snorlax. Let's fight the power couple. Sometimes the intensity of our love scares me. Is this the Onyx Cloister people? Oh, no, it's the Rapidash Ninetales one. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll Thunderbolt you, and I guess I'll just send in War Turtle, because I can't really hurt them much. That's in Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Okay. Now, I know sometimes when, when we see stuff like that, it seems like a reach, but when it's Onyx and Cloyster, it's like... Okay. Okay. So, someone... Maybe someone was a little bit cheeky with that. Maybe. All right, Rapid Ash is down. Get splashed, get spit on. Nice. How long we been going? Damn, getting close to the three hour mark, nice. Been a fun day so far, chat. Really took my mind off of a crappy yesterday I have. That's good. Mostly planning for short streams for the next few days to take it easier on myself, but we should be all right. Hang on. Oh, nice, I got Flamethrower. Um, get rid of Scratch. I want the extra fire PP. Now I could probably kill Erica, but probably just get Charizard first. Listen, Leia, you need to focus less on me. I'm sorry, Jed is so cool. Once I get Charizard, I can start flying everywhere anyway. You found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. Got it from her. HM2 is fly. Wonderfully convenient move. Please put good use. I still maintain that I feel like Let's Go should have made this character Kahili. Like the golfer lady that trains fire types. Or sorry, flying types. Um... Like, it would have been perfect, because she's a celebrity that trains flying types, so she could have just given you the HM as a little nod to her being in Gen 7, like how they put other other Gen 7 characters in Let's Go. I feel like such a missed opportunity to me. I thought it would have been cool. Okay. Welcome, friend. Glad you were able to, finally able to catch a stream. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Okay. No one can learn Psychic, so I don't gotta go get the TM for that. I say we can just go in the, the hideout for a little bit. Maybe leave after I get Charizard and get the Gym Badge. Because the Gym Badge will give me stat boosts. Alrighty. No beautiful spy. You broke into Team Rocket's operation? What nerve. Healy has so much less screen time already, I know. Take her out. Thunderbolt. Get zip zapped. Like a little rat. Fried rats probably smell terrible. 
What a statement. What an explanation I've just said. Okay. You know, now that I think about it, isn't, like... Isn't, like, having a pro golfer and a Lola a bit strange? Like, I'm, I might sound really dumb and ignorant, but, like... Does Hawaii really have, gol like, giant golfing courses? I don't think most island places do, right? Am I losing my mind? Hawaii does have golf courses. Okay, then, I guess I'm just an idiot. It has a lot of golf, golf courses. It Really? All right. Who are you? How'd you get here? They're more for, they're more of a tourist thing. They have some pro golf courses. Okay, then, I guess that... All right, then. Egg on my face. I am wrong. I have learned something today. So I remember reading, like, reading something as a kid about how, like, island... Uh, like, island nations, or not nations, island places, basically, have things structured a lot differently because of the li more limited space, right? Maybe it's, w I think, that way because I'm from Canada, and Canada just has so much freaking open space <laughs> between all of its, uh, cities and, and towns. Okay. Drowsy. Send in Charmeleon. Do that. We ban people for being wrong? How do we ban the streamer? Okay. Because I just assume that, because golf... Don't golf courses infamously take up so much space? Let's see. That's why people are always pissed when they tear down stuff to build one. Let's see. And yeah, we took you out. Let me get my Charizard ready here. And a lot of resources, too. Yeah, they take up resources to maintain. Let's see. Well, I said you can see ghosts with the silk scope. Need a lot of land for 18 holes. Yeah, that's what I mean. You got a Raichu plush. Well, that's wholesome. I imagine they take up a lot of water, too. You got to maintain the grass just right. Let's see... I imagine, a, like, 18 holes of golf, like, an entire golf course would probably be a lot more to maintain than, like, one of those expensive stadiums every city in insists on building. Nine holes, you gotta play, uh, cross the street to play the other nine. Excellent. Set everybody on fire. Uh, nah, I'll keep, I'll keep going. I'm gonna leave when I get Charizard and just go thrash Erica. I need to have my revenge. I have a Raichu now, too. Not that it matters. Her Pokemon can kind of just thrash all my Pokemon anyway, except a Charizard. Flying type will give me extra resistance to grass, too. I could just teach Fly to Charizard right away. That would be nice. But Flamethrower is obviously better. I surrender. Okay, let's go down. There's you. We got word from upstairs you were coming. Team Rock Grunt would like to battle. Jack, you know what? It, this might be, sound a little cynical, but you know what makes me think, like, we might be doomed? You know why? <laughs> because, you know, you grow up and the world's just like, Hey kids, remember to put your milk cartons in the right box. And then your city's just like, Hey guys, we're, we need to spend like a billion dollars on this on this little stadium. It's really important. Why? It, it's really important. I know there's homeless people we gotta take care of. And who cares about that? Giant stadium. <laughs> we need to get our priorities straight. And the guys in charge are like, Stadium. Oh, man. What? I lost. No. Excellent. Hang on. Wasn't there something hidden here? I might be thinking of another game. Frustration. Oh, this ain't Mystery Dungeon. We don't need it. That's why I said, heck it. If they're gonna ruin the world, I'll just enjoy it while I'm an anime character. That's real. Okay. Gen 1, the slide tiles take forever. Now do this. Um, I'm gonna go back around now. Okay, go over here. 
You see, stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs. All for tourism. Chat, I'm not much of a traveler. I really don't like the idea of traveling. Let me see. You like my PNG tuber? Thank you, friend. Um, I, I feel like I'm the type of person that just is scared of the idea of traveling. I'm too terrified to be in an unfamiliar place for an extended time. I don't think, I don't like the idea of just riding a boat or a plane either. I'm comfy where I am. I can order stuff online. I can get my culture from that. I'm a very cultured person. I buy video games from Japan. <laughs> uh, if I were to travel, it would have to be with a, like, here's the thing. I'm like the, the introvert of my friend group. I, I, I'm not going to travel unless there's at least, at, at least like three extroverts that can drag me around and make sure I don't get lost. <laughs> That's the rule. Black glasses. Oh, I could just give that to Squirtle. It has the, um, it has bite and it also can make it pretend it's a Squirtle squad. Let's go. No iron. They're over there. There's that vent, but we can't use it. Snatch? Ha ha ha. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. I like the idea of seeing new places, but I would just have, like, extreme anxiety about getting stranded or losing stuff. That's right. That Grimer's looking a little blue. Dabba dee dabba die. Hmm. I should activate the elevator or something. Or I could just escape rope when I get my stuff. Let me see. Let's do it. Alright. Take him out. Traveling scares me, chat. I would- I couldn't travel alone. I need to have a group that, like, tugs me around. Like I'm a puppy on a leash. Wait, that sounded weird. I take that back. I take that back. No! I meant to go to- ah, oh, damn it. Let's go to Ember. All right. The buddy system for a reason, that's right. No! Oh no, I dropped the lift key. Perfect. Okay, lift key acquired. Now we gotta go back here. Chat, I freak out when I'm stuck inside my own house. I can't imagine, like, being five steps outside of it. <laughs> That's where the real ridiculous uh, stuff would begin. Hang on. Let's just get the items here. X speed. Moonstone. I know that, like, I've he I remember hearing somewhere that if you ever, like, travel to the city for the first time, like, go to a place like New York, do not, like, look up at the buildings constantly. Because people, there are people who will hang around, like, travel places like airports. And if they see you looking up at the buildings, they know it's your first time there. And they're probably going to target you for, like, uh, something. Let me see. Maybe that's exaggerated. Probably is. But, um, hang on. I'm going to go get the item here because I can. Super potion. Nope, don't do that. You will get pickpockets immediately. Here we go. Let's see. Now I'm just gonna reset this here. Now that we've done all this. I picked up all the items. Now we're gonna go use the lift key. After this room. I'm already almost done with this place. I thought I'd poke my head in. Intruder alerts. Rocket guy sent out Grimer. I don't really want to go to big cities, to be honest. I heard that, like, it's all... What's the term? I think my brother told me about this. It's called, like, Paris Syndrome, where you romanticize a city in your head like Paris, and you go there, and you realize, oh, it's just like every other city. It smells like piss. Uh, there's garbage everywhere. But the Eiffel Tower's there. That's cool. I apologize to my French viewers. Wait, no, you probably think Paris is a normal city, too. What am I saying? 
It sure is a city. Excellent. Thrash. Thrash. Excellent. Nice. Coughing. Um. I'll let Raichu do it. Why not? City I described is Athens. Or are you talking to someone else? <laughs> Shock it with a thunderbolt. Okay, that's good. 537. Mm. All right. I can't imagine wanting to go to, um, like, Los Angeles or something. I've heard that, like, California is just, like, like a, an annoying place to visit because of just how, like, hard it is to get around. And everything's expensive. Like, living there is just one of the most expensive places in the U.S. That Charizard's looking, looking pretty normal. Wing attack. I mean, we're gonna immediately replace it. We don't need Metal Claw. We do not at all. Excellent. Whoa, it looks a little brighter, yeah. Your Pokemon seems a little cold. Is it dying? Is the fire out? It's happy to see what's outdoors. We're not outdoors, though. Okay. Now that we've done that, I suppose what we could do next is go for the, um... Just go for the elevator and leave that way. Why'd you come here? It's a Dragonite colored Charizard. I guess it is. Excellent. I can double kick this. Double kick is still useful. Double kick is still kicking. Oopsie. No, 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 no. Wrong one. I can't Im I, I wonder if Giovanni will actually be a difficult fight. Guess we'll see. I could go for him or Erica right now. I feel like Erica's just gonna be a curb stomp with Flamethrower, though. I mean, yeah, Nido King does have the high attack. Still, Double Kick is infamously low in power. You'd almost never use it on anyone else. He's got nothing but rats, and I got nothing but kicks. Okay, rats down. This won't do. Okay. Stairs are purple. Let's open up the exit now. Basement floor one. There's one guy blocking the door out here, though, right? Yeah, him. Are you lost, little mouse? I'm not a little mouse. You're a little mouse. He's got Grimer. And I've got Dig. I can't remember. Does Grimer have better physical or special defense? I feel like Muck's a bit of a wall for one of them. Uh-oh. That's bad. That's bad! What's a mouse? Yeah, what is a mouse in this universe? There's Pikachus. Coughing. Send it out. Muck's special defense. Weezing's more physical. Thank you. I didn't get a chance to make badge icons for that empty space. I kind of forgot. No, I didn't forget. I was just actually t t too damn sick yesterday to want to do anything. Sorry, chat. No pretty picture for you. Let me see. This is opened up. Let's just leave like this. We will go heal, and then we will go deal with Erica. Get the Charizard up front, why don't we? I should probably just replace Wing Attack with Fly right now before I forget about it. Yes. Ninety-five accuracy is pretty meh. There we go. It's two turns, but whatever. We want that power. Plus, it's Kanto. What other flying moves am I going to use? It's either Wing Attack or Fly. Take your pick. 
Funny how wing attack in Gen 1 was only like 30-something power. And I and Scyther couldn't even learn it in red and blue. I think he had to get it in yellow version, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was another move set change. Yeah, cut it down. Alright, are we ready, lads? Team is looking pretty good. As for the last party member... Actually, quick question for those that know. I was thinking about Gengar, but if I can use the Eevee... Or rather, if I can evolve into Umbreon and Espeon, it should have Emerald's Clock, so I should. Yeah, if it lets me get Blossom, I could go for Espeon and we can just go for um, Red's team. As to accept and send a Snorlax, we'll use Nidoking. I would go for Espeon, to be honest. That could be cool. You can evolve to Umbreon and Espeon. Okay, thank you. That sounds like a nice idea. I'll go get- I'll go reset for a good Eevee after this, why don't we? Hello, lovely weather. It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica, leader of the Celadon Gym. I'm a student. What am I- I read this before. What am I doing? Alright. Hardest Pokemon game I played? Ah, Maybe Crystal Kaizo? I thought the stream just disconnected for a second. Holy moly. Just a random pop-up. Don't worry. Fried spaghetti. I earned this victory. Charizard about to stomp you. Snorlax is a, not a bad Pokemon, but it's a very meh Pokemon casually, I feel. It's like, yeah, you can body slam. And you can, like, rest... It's Snorlax, it can take a hit. It's slow as hell. Like, it's not bad, but I don't really like using Snorlax. I like the fast, heavy hitters, which Espeon is. Nidoking's also slow, but he hits like a truck, too. And he has more coverage. Goodbye, Gloom. Goodbye, Vileplume. Dang, no chance. You have to admit, though, her gloom was pretty set to slaughter. I just had the elemental coverage like I did with, with Surge. Who knows what he could have done to me. You're remarkably strong. I must confer you the Rainbow Badge. Also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Yeah, I swept that. Like, they have better moves for sure, but, like, if I have the right type to wall them, they're kind of screwed. Like, they don't have, like, Kaizo-level teams, so it's still- it's Pokemon. You can sweep anybody if you know what you're doing. Let's see now. Do that now. Alright, let's go get an Eevee, but we'll reset before I pick it up. Let's try and get a good nature for Espeon. So, pretty much anything that minus is attack. I'd, I'd take that, I'd say. Unless they made it go Sunstone, Moonstone. I hope not. Probably would be easier that way if they did, but... Hang on. Save the game. Eevee. We got... Sassy nature. Up special attack, minus speed. Ooh. No, 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 no. Say no to that, Eevee. Don't want to... If I get a shiny, I'll definitely keep that. If I get a shiny, I will use the green Espeon, and you will all like it. Charizard's wing is clipping into that table. Green Espeon is cute. You're all just mean. This one's looking a little yellow. Careful nature. Ah, Come on, man. I wouldn't want that. Let's see. Green Espeon, green Teddy. They're cute. This one's a red-looking Eevee. Mild nature. Um... I mean, I could. Espeon already has ass defense anyway, right? It's special defense it excels in. Mm. I'll reset again. <laughs> it take forever to get modest or timid, though. Charizard's bad fire. 
Let me see. Let's go. Naughty nature. Up, uh, up attack. Ew. Ew. Hi, Lilac. How you doing? I, I want an Espeon. That's why. Umbreon's cool, but casually Umbreon is too, is more def it's just a defensive mon that's slow to use. Hardy. Oh, it's got terrible IVs on special though. Damn. If you don't like green Espeon, maybe green Espeon doesn't like you either. Oopsie. Try that. Rash nature. This one has much better stats e either, so... I think I'm gonna take this one, actually, yeah. Hmm. I'll go with that. Better stats in general, even without the nature buff. Let me see. It already has really good special defense anyway, so... I mean, it's Kanto. It's not really gonna get hit by dark moves that often. I'll take it. Yeah, you can evolve into Umbreon and Espeon. They sell Sunstones for you to get, um... Now, what am I trying to say here? Sunstones for you to get, uh... uh Belossum. That's its name. How'd I forget that? Because <laughs> it's Belossum, that's why. Does anyone know where you can get a Soothe Bell in this hack? Your Pokemon wasn't watching where you are going and ran into you. Aw, little Eevee. Let's do it. Eevee! Uh, I have quick attack, and that's that. It's stab, at least. Level 25 is a good level for this. Unshrimp and hydrate. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hang on. Did I miss a hydrate? Hmm, there you go. Suddenly, let's go, Eevee. Yeah, it is nice to see animated sprites for this. I did want a Psychic type, and I did use Alakazam and Crystal Kaizo already, so... Okay, it's not worth fighting you. Led with Runaway. Hey, yeah, let's go in here now. Oh, that tea looks awfully tasty. Can I have this drink? Gee, thanks. Lug, lug, lug. You want to go to Saffron? You can go through. I'll share this with the other guards. Denny wants to hug an Eevee. All right, I'll show Teddy. There, Teddy can see the Eevee. I, I put the bear off for a little bit. Spill that tea. I can learn Psychic as fast as possible with the Psychic TM. I thought about Gengar, but yeah, I kind of want to use Espeon. Chat loves the bear button. It's amazing. Teddy bear buttons. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. It's funny how this became really true in the future. In the future, he everyone goes in here because it's like, yeah, we do want Psychic. You already know, don't you? It's Psychic. <laughs> Ironic how that worked out. You love the little emotes? They are adorable. Thank you. Charizard can sweep this place. Oh, double battles? Do this. Wah! You're trespassing speeds it up here. I sw I hear you're good. Show me. Go. Toshi and Hideki. You can see the two different shades side by side. Now we're gonna swap Eevee for Charizard. They're pretty higher level here, actually, yeah. Get zapped. He's going revenge. Like that mattered. Fly you. Zap you. Yeah, the Pikachu is allowed to evolve in this hack. Which is good. Because getting stuck with a vanilla unbuffed Pikachu would be pretty ass. They knew no one would do that anyway, so why not? The game has a feature where it can kind of change a Pokemon's palette slightly, 
in a similar way that Pokemon Stadium models changed colors slightly. It's completely random when the Pokemon's encountered. But if you catch a Pokemon with a certain palette, it'll have that forever, which is cool. Look at that little animation from a choke. Fly you, zap you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, jeez. They got some strong Pokemon here. I probably should come back in a little while when I uh, deal st yeah, deal with more stuff. I don't know if this is the best place to train Eevee for friendship. I think to get the XP share, you need to have, like, a certain amount of Pokemon caught. That's too much effort just for one Evo. Okay. Do this. And zip zap him. Charizard's like my highest level now because I just wanted to slaughter Erica. We don't really have too much use for Squirtle. Actually, wait, no. When we do the Lavender Tower, we can just uh, bite the ghost with Wartortle. I gave it the black glasses as well. I think Eevee can also get bites. Can it? Because if I can get that, that would be okay to use it in the tower. Um, I should go get the bike before I forget. Wait, what am I doing? I can just fly. I can fly now. Heck yeah. Time to take the subway. I need this for cycling road more than actually, like, going around faster. Maybe they change. Wait, what? Did he say mock bike? He did. Hang on a second. Did is the bike actually good in Fire Red Leaf Green now? Let's see. Yeah, he gave me the mock bike. Oh, you can register to a D-pad now. Select. Uh, what about the Versus Seeker? Hang on. Oh, that's that's nice. I thought it was still one button. Wait. This isn't fast. This isn't the mock bike. This isn't the mock bike at all. This is normal ass speed. I feel ripped off. The mock bike is in a mock. Am I do I need to push a button for it? No? No, our button doesn't do anything either. No way to speed it up. It just kind of goes as fast as this. I got the Kanto knockoff version. Yes, I did. Ah, oh, feel ripped off. All right, let's go beat Giovanni, I guess. No, B doesn't do anything. Why would they change the name but leave it as the same base speed as F as regular Fire Leaf Green? I thought it was going to be good for a second. Yes, this is built off of Emerald's engine. They could use that. I know that if you, um, in Fire and Leaf Green, because they're built off of Ruby and Sapphire, the Mock Bike is in the data, but if you activate it, activate that or the Acro Bike, it just plays the normal bike stuff, because they don't have the mechanics in there. What am I doing? Alright. Let's go here. I'll take my Eevee with me, and I'll swap. I wonder if I get more friendship if I do this. Eevee is happily gazing at the beautiful starry sky. Uh, Eevee, I don't know how to tell you this, but that's a roof. A roof, my dude. Let's go. Eevee has x-ray vision. All Eevees do that. Or maybe it's like, let's go, and they have, like, the wallpaper of the starry sky. That'd be funny. Um, I could give the calcium to Eevee, because I'll need it in the long run. Uh, where is it? Is it in medicine? Yay. You, you're that twerp from Mount Moon. 
Just how long are you gonna follow us around? I know I'm beautiful, but what do you want? Rescue Cubone, join Team Rocket. What? You certainly do show potential, though you're not nearly as beautiful as me. Wait a minute, you're trying to trick me. That's right, I'm making fun of you. And for the record, I am more beautiful. Doesn't matter, there's no way we're letting you through the boss. It's payback time for those fossils at from Mount Moon, brat. I'll have you know that I am like rank 225 for all VTubers on Twitch, apparently. This information was revealed to me earlier. And I'm somewhat sure it's accurate. Maybe. <laughs> All right, we're gonna swap an Eevee for, yeah, send a Nito for this actually. Now let's Thunderbolt you. They gotta eradicate now. Hmm. Ooh, it missed Hyperfang. And they missed Glare? Wow, what a waste of their turn, apparently. I'll just double kick you and we'll Thunderbolt you. Excellent. Oh, that's right, Vampy. I don't think you were here to see that when we did that earlier. Minard showed me, like, a list of a website that, that uh, actually has pages of every VTuber. And someone actually added me, and according to the stats, I'm, like, one of the, the highest on Twitch? I mean, rank 200 is pretty high when you consider how many damn people are streaming on Twitch. So that's pretty wild to me. Heck yeah. That's right, chat. Make sure to hit that follow button to boost my rank. Or else, you wouldn't want to make me angry, would you? You wouldn't want to make the wholesome Teddy streamer upset. Never would you want to do that. Never. Make sure you don't, then. <laughs> I know, it's for VTubers, not all streamers. If it was all streamers, you better believe I wouldn't even make the 10,000 range. Yeah, rank 225 out of, like, almost 3,000. It's not bad at all. I'll disappear into the endless void, that's right. And if I disappear, so will the teddy. Can you handle that? Some of you look like you're gonna have a breakdown when I push the button that takes the teddy away. Excellent. Such a dreadful twerp. But I was so confident this time. Hm, how infuriating. Exactly, you're so annoying. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Okay. They were guarding the door. It can be opened without any problems. Alright. Better heal the paralysis on you. I'll keep Eevee up front for the hell of it. And switch him immediately. Excellent. You you will cry and punch a hole in the wall if I take away the teddy. Oh, I don't want that to happen. No archer. I must say, I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Let's go. It's really wild that Let's Go put Archer in the game. I thought that was a really cool detail. Of course, he can't use his Hound Hour at all. Um, hmm, I'll let Nito do this. Fake out. Good switch. Good switch. Uh oh. All right. Yeah, large streams do have a very chaotic chat. That's kind of just how it is if you're in a large stream. There's no way around it. Hey, double kick was enough. Rhyhorn. This is where I let my turtle shine for a little bit. He's going, he's going. Hmm. 31. Oh, protect? Um, I don't think I need that. Angus gone. I'm gonna go for it. No switch. War Turtle, do your best. Oh, I gave it strength, huh? Gave it a stab option. Also, he has Persian and Kangaskhan here. 
Did he have that in Let's Go, or did he have the Onyx instead of Kangaskhan? Pretty much dead there. Hmm. I'll let Venusaur do it. Okay. Hang on. How many followers do I have on Twitch? Like, I know I have a decent amount here, don't I? Um, I have just under 25k followers. That's pretty good. We can get that number up, why don't we? How do you encourage more followers, chat? Should I put, like, a little zippy zap, um, sound whistle on screen whenever someone hits the follow button? That would probably lose me followers at this point. I know a lot of you don't like when people do that. I'm gonna try and lead seed it. Oh, that hit pretty hard. And I missed. Wait, oh, no, it landed last turn? Oh, I misread. Oh, well. This is fine. As long as the Leech Seeds landed, I got this. Chad is just saying boobs. Boobs. All right, chat. This is the last time I ask you for ideas. You're right. But oh, come on now. You know I can't do that. Let's see... I did plug my my uh, stream channel on the last yellow channel. Maybe I should do that in the next video I make, but I should also make sure I put the VTuber there so I can get more engagement from people calling it cringe. What? This can't be. I win. I see you raised Pokemon with care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. You can go now as well as that little Cubone. Hope we meet again. Silphscope. Not bad. Not bad at all. Plug got you here. Good. See, it works. Just gonna dangle video games and anime in front of them, and bam! You haven't seen comments call the VTuber cringe? Oh, that's because they usually use bad words that end up in the fil uh, in the certain filter. Those publics aren't, aren't viewable by the public. <laughs> They get automatically deleted after a certain amount of time. Let me see. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. We hope to see you again. All right, Eevee, it's gonna take you a little while to get trained up. So the next places we have available are Lavender Tower. Yeah, we need that to get the, the Poke Flute. So we pretty much have to go to Lavender, don't we? Hmm. Too bad Eevee has no other moves. If I had Bite, I could attack the ghosts. 467. Alright, Charizard, let's go. Alright. Excellent. Surprise that website doesn't list my YouTube. Mm, okay. Well, I assume whoever added the information is a follower of the stream, because they specifically listed my likes as Teddy's and Coco. Be gone, malevolent spirit! Patricia. Well then. Is that... Yeah, it's slightly different shade. Yeah, nothing to hit, so we'll let War Turtle get in there. Oh, that's fun. I can always quickly leave an escape rope if I need to. Okay, good, it's down. Whew, the spirit left. I also like Moomin, because Moomin's awesome. Moomin is a wholesome little friend, and I have many plushies of him. Chandler Carly. Now that one's a lot more pale compared to the previous one. I'm gonna be switching right into this over and over to get confused, aren't I? Nope, oh, get spited. Get spited, get bited. Damn. Eevee is gonna take a bit to train, clearly. Hmm. Get the items while we're here. Erg, ah, gua. I could swear that Eevee could learn Bite around these levels, but I'm not confident enough in that. This one's a little bit more purpley. 
just slightly can notice the shade differences. The Eevee is as pale as a ghost. No, it would be if it was shiny. Ah, I'm solved. Or saved. What the hell am I saying? Escape rope. Everything is fine. Let's go, Eevee. Oh, wait, this is wrong game. Be cursed with me. No, thank you. Perfect. Mm. And I can it's not really worth to switch Eevee in and out, but I feel like I'm building friendship by sending him into battle, right? Come to think of it, I don't—I have no idea if this game changes the requirements for friendship evos. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to pay close attention to the time. Um, uh, I might accidentally get the um, I might accidentally get Umbreon if I'm not careful. The timer is still going inside as well. Uh, I might- it might be safest to level up in a, outside in a wild battle, I feel, for the Evo. Beat me not. I highly doubt I'd get enough friendship to evolve here, though. Excellent. Okay, swap you. If that website counted my YouTube stats, it would probably put me... Hang on. If it counted my my yellow channel as my stats, it would put me as like a rank 200 of all the VTubers there, would it? Is that how? Is that? Am I reading that right? I don't know how you arrived at this information. All I'm reading is I deserve to be popular, chat. So hit the follow button. Or else. Or else. Yes. Well, well, well. I guess I'm gonna have to plug this on my next YouTube video. I need to- I need the imaginary number ranking to be real. Excellent. Hits follow and un- her hits unfollow and follow again. Hey, don't do that. Awakening. Hang on a second, I'm gonna chug some cold water. My throat is dry. Now that's delicious right there. Great ball. Hang on. If the yellow channel gets about around 5k more subs, I'll I would break into the hypothetical uh, top 200. You're telling me I could be the best. We're gonna have to keep going then. Let the Eevee get friendship by going into battle. I think it has to actually go into battle, but it, it's getting XP this way anyway, since the XP share is kind of locked. Where's the ghost? I must have been dreaming. Ghost. No problem, we'll run away from you. Oh, we already reached the healing point. This is going fast. You shall join us. Join us in following Mr. Pikachu Bay right now. Get that rank up. If I can't re hit the top 200 chat, people are getting banned. Wait, no, that would lower my follower count. What am I doing? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Believe I can be the best VTuber there ever was. Darn right. What a nightmare. Excellent. Talk to you. Give me your all. My all? All my what? All my bears? No, they're mine. Okay, there's Haunter. Haunter has such a uh, sp spooky looking sprite in this game compared to uh, Hoenn. The best VTuber has 2.5 million Twitch follows. Is that Iron Mouse, or is someone else in number one spot? I think it was her. Anyways, I'm going for the bite. War Turtles confused. Iron Mouse is second, actually. Ah. Bite. There you go. Well, chat, we're just gonna need a few million. Let's make it snappy. Chop, chop. Get started. 
You care about Mr. Wholesome Bear Streamer, don't you? Yes. Okay. Oh, damn it. Very pink ghost. Number one is Nemo Space Cat. I'm actually not sure who that is. Are they Japanese? Enter the Purify Protected Zone. Lens tag. Zombies. No, don't make don't make alternate accounts. That that's they're just gonna get borked later anyway. Argentinian, actually. Oh, okay. I'm not familiar with that person. Send out the war turtle. Oof. Now see, when you when you dangle hypothetical numbers in front of me like that, it makes my sick self want to get out of bed and actually do stuff to make progress, Jack. Ah. We need to become the best, like no one ever was. Erg. Uff. And what better way to be the best than sit here saying erg and uff uh, while talking to these Pokemon NPCs? This is quality entertainment. I think that deserves a million follows right there. Well, we're getting confused, but that's okay. The heal spot's unlocked. Yay. When I start more Yu-Gi-Oh! playthroughs next month, yeah. Mother 3 has been doing well. I just have to uh, deal with some extra editing to get them on YouTube. Whoa! Heck yeah. Okay, let's go. Free gold. Hang on. Uh, just go. And fight you. Give me blood! Uh-oh. Teddy's gonna get scared seeing this. I've been going for three and a half hours. Uh, I'd say we should finish off the tower first and call it a night. Call it a day, I should say. Okay. Number 14 on Twitch is an AI chatbot. Oh, goddamn. Re really? Really? Super long stream, super long progress. We beat two gym leaders today. That's good. If you tell me it's an AI gr AI girlfriend channel, I swear. Ghastly. Nope, send it out. Give it a bite. Take a bite out of that gassy ghost. Oof, it's been a bit since I did a better stretch. I'll do my one on my own. No redeem. Pretend my model is stretching. Oof. Keep biting. How the heck am I supposed to compete with an AI girlfriend chat? They got everything! What do I got? Headphones? Bears? Kiki kiki kiki. Chandler Jennifer would like to play. That's a very pale one right there. I think we've seen all uh, all shades of ghastly now. Okay, bite it. Quick chat, what's popular? What else do we play? He. Hmm. Well, the Mario Party stuff has been doing okay. I mean, listen, in all seriousness, like, I, I don't care if I have, like, a lot of views or uh, little views. I just prefer to have fun with what I'm playing. At the end of the day, that's, uh... That's kind of all that really matters. Like, I didn't start doing this for, for views. I started doing it for fun. Earth qua. If I cared about views, then before I even streamed, I'd probably just be pumping out some crappy Pokemon video every week on the other channel. Let me see... New trailer drops? Uh, let's let's just spend 50 minutes talking about that. <laughs> let's make some predictions. Let's read the Pokemon wiki and pretend it's all mine. Getting cursed. Hang on. I'm gonna bite it. I didn't see how many Pokemon this trainer had. Something fell out. Okay. Can't poke it all trick this thing. Rare candy. Be gone, intruders. I got the candy. I don't really care what that is over there. I can't believe it actually is animated, too. That's funny. 
wild ghost appeared. Sylph scope identified it. Ghost was Marowak. Yay. Send in War Turtle again. The site lists my Twitter, but it doesn't have my YouTube. That's so weird. Yeah, that is weird. Excellent. Perfect. You know, I have been posting more stream clips to YouTube lately. That's been fun. Excellent. All right, I'm dead. I posted that clip for Blaze Black, like my literal first stream of using the PN a PNG tuber, right? You know what happened? I got full odds Pokerus, and I didn't even notice the text was on screen because I was showing chat my like model sheet. And when I put it down, I realized Nurse Joy was saying that. I'm like, oh, oh. And I posted that clip to Twitter, <laughs> and it actually did, got like over a thousand likes and all that. Thank you, Max, for the sub there. Road to one more million. The ghost was the spirit of Cubone's mother. Mother's spirit was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. Hang on. Uh, wrong pocket. I'm gonna do this. I want that item now. I wonder if walking with the Eevee in the overworld affects friendship. Eevee's somehow sad. Well, get over it, Eevee. Yay. Now that we've done that, we just gotta go fight the Team Rocket members upstairs. Nope. Just enough space. Uh, no one here? Oh, wait, no, you have to fight Jesse and James here, don't you? Led with Runaway. That's right. Stop right there. With that ghost out of the way, we can finally get to the top. You're that old geezer they call Mr. Fuji, right? You're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the Gloria Team Rocket. Ignore us all you like. We're used to it. We won't take no for an answer. You'll help the boss whether you want to or not. Gramps here thinks he can resist, so we're setting him straight. You'd better disappear, Twerp, or be prepared to fight. Alright, you asked earlier what an Oshi mark is. This is a set of one or two emoji that fans put in their bio to find each other. Oh, is that is that what those mean? Interesting. Chat, what would I what would I use for that? Maybe a bear emoji and something else? I feel like a bear emoji should be one of them. Wait, bear emoji and hot cocoa. Is there an emoji of a little mug? That would be perfect. See? I got the spirit. Send a Nino King. Okay, Thundershock you. No Coco, but T. Eh, close enough. It's super effective. Scary face. Mm. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. We're gonna kick the rat and just finish off the bat. Okay. They got more than just Arbok, Meowth, and Weezing. Which is good for them. They're maybe supposed to be challenging. It is challenge mode. Ooh, the Raticates got good EVs this time, apparently. Actually, they're higher level than me now that I... Look at him. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go ahead and dig against you, and we'll Thunderbolt you. Okay, good, it missed. The coffee emo emoji is close enough. Okay, we can use a bear head emoji and coffee emoji. Are those... Is that duo claimed by anyone else? I don't know how this works. Like, remember earlier in the stream when I adjusted my microphone threshold for the first time? That's how- clearly I know what I'm doing. Not very much. No? Okay, let's claim it. Want me to update it? I mean, I- I suppose you could. Might as well. Maybe I should update my Twitter bio. You know what I haven't done yet is... I haven't actually changed my Twitter profile picture to my character. I probably should do that. 
I've had the same one since like 2015, 2016. It's just my little circle logo. Okay. Ah, king is down. That's the case. Send out, send out War Turtle. We can do it. Can't gas me. Thirty-three. Don't quite have Blastoise yet. Almost though. Wheezing out speeds all of us. Wheezing out speeds Raichu. I mean, he's higher level, but come on, I'm Raichu. Okay, zap him. I don't remember how long the first episode of this was, but this seems like this is going to be a decent sized one. Oh, I can't handle a super long stream chat, but uh, maybe next week I should go back to doing some Purity Forest and Destiny Tower attempts. Those are some pretty big, probably like the most popular streams I ever do. Hang on. They can get a lot of viewers, and I if they're DS games, I could force this in the corner. <laughs> yes, yes, force it in the corner. Can't escape anime. It comes for you. What do you want? You'll regret this. Not like I have enough clears in Destiny Tower to worry about the, uh, the graphic getting covered up. Seriously? Again? Looks like Operation Stealthily Kidnap Fuji is a bust. Then, don't you think I know that? It'll be fine, we just have to help you with the takeover of Silphco and Saffron. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Alright then. There you go. Oh, and who might you be? Came to save me from Team Rocket? Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were there. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. It's in the Pokemon house at the foot of the tower. Alright, nice. Red, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. Got the Poke Flute. Nice. Um, upon hearing the flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. Alright. That's not too bad, then. Let's just get in here, though. Heal the poison. Apparently, the Twitch channel for Saga follows you. Yeah, they kind of just follow anybody that plays a Sonic game at one point. They they did do that before. <laughs> I noticed it. Let's see. All right. Hmm. Now that we've done that, um, Sylph is now open, and we can also go to Fuchsia. Hmm. Hmm. Could go for that another time, yeah. Cycling road, and then there's the entire trainer route down here. I wonder how hard Koga could be. Does it assume I have all the grinding from all these different areas? We'll have to find out next time, I suppose. I wonder what the levels in Sylph could be as well. I feel like I should get Espeon before I go to Sylph, because I'd be able to sweep the poison types a lot easier. What am I healing for? I already did that. All right. Oh, I did play a little bit of Sonic 1 on stream years ago. That's probably where that's from, yeah. Okay, almost a four-hour episode. This was fun, chat. I'm enjoying it. Save the game. Turn off the power. Okay, I think this is where we'll wrap this up right now, though. This has been fun. Really took my mind off the crappy day I had yesterday. I'm glad you all seem to be enjoying this. <laughs> enjoying the little anime character as well. And the teddy. Um... I was gonna get back to Blaze Black this week, so maybe I'll get another session of this in after uh, the weekend, if I can. For this week, I just don't want to overwhelm myself. Just some short streams of the ongoing games, and next time we could probably make huge progress on this as well. But for now, I hope you guys enjoy. Look forward to more. Have a good night, and bye-bye.